Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Unexpectables. I am Taka. Hi, you follow me here. Hey, Goomba! Hey, what? Oh, there you are. Hi, Goomba. What's going on with you? Hey, I've been playing the Neo 2 Alpha and been loving every fucking second of now, it. Now, is it the is it the Dark Souls uh, to Neo 1's Demon Souls? Yes, I would say. But there's a whole bunch of weird shit that's, like, really original in it that I absolutely adore. So that's a, that is a big yes, then. Okay. That's a big yes. But, uh, yeah, so let me get to the point. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. I've been playing the hell out of that. Going to be playing that this weekend. Possibly streaming it every day in the morning, uh, aside from the weekend where I'll be doing the evening. Uh, after that, it's back to our Pokemon Yokai lock, which I've been loving a lot. And uh, apparently, so have you guys. So we're going to keep on going with that. Come uh, come for the fight, stay for the lore. Oh, that's a good catch. That's a good catch right there. That's eh, okay. All right, speaking of, speaking of lore... Uh, like the evil brother of Data. Hi, hi, Connor. Hello. <laughs> Where can they find you, dude? They can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil. Where uh, Tuesdays at three o'clock Central Standard Time, I do RW, my own WWE 2K19 wrestling show. The Jester of Bordeaux has started taking control of people's minds. Ooh. Are you doing a mind control storyline? Yep. That's good. Just wait. I just it's not a true video wrestling video game until we can have an in-ring marriage interrupted by whatever we want. Not a true also game. On El also on Eldritch Blast uh, two weeks ago uh, it was a handicap match between the tag team champions and the Eldritch Invocation champion and the titles exploded injuring all three people in the match. Oh. I That's didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, you, you, titles can explode, dude. Did, did you not read that? Yeah, no. did you have you not seen wrestling, dude? You, you, I haven't. I haven't seen wrestling in dude, probably fifteen dude, years. Dude, you 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 lived in Japan. You must know about DDT's logic, okay? So, <laughs> last time I saw wrestling, uh, an old woman gave birth to a hand. Hey, oh, do we not besmirch. We do we do not besmirch the lowest of the low wrestling ever became. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, Connor, where can they find you though? Uh, they can find me on Twitter at CNL Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil. Fridays do Friday Funhouse, Saturdays The Witcher Three, and Sundays is Divinity Two. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, Zito. Well, it's you not. It's not. It's not a hand. But what can you birth us today? Mm. Well, <laughs> you could, unless you can, I can, birth I, can birth, I can birth you a link to a Twitter page and a Twitch page. The Twitter page being CZ Backlash, and the Twitch page being Zito. Uh, you can find me tomorrow streaming very late because I'm going to be go seeing Gojira. Uh, so Ooh, sometime yeah. around 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow, uh, I've been playing Void Bastards and loving the shit out of it. Cool. It's a really good game and I can't wait to show it off to everyone. Also, a uh, couple of other things. We, I have a Mordhaus server for people who are subs to the channel. So if you head Ooh. over there, we might, uh, we'll give you some info on how to get hooked up on that. Uh... Connor, Tormentor, yes. mm. Bear Traps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, also, uh, The Adventures of Eep, a modded Skyrim adventure where you play as kobolds, because why the fuck not? And also, speaking of tabletop stuff, uh, I have a couple of 4AM stupid ideas that transformed into playable races. They will be up on DM's Guild very shortly. Awesome, dude. Awesome, awesome. Dean, are you good to, you good to say something? Yeah, I can talk. Okay, Hi. because you're typing out something. I know. I am typing. I, uh, hi. Uh, it's me, Monty Blue. How are you? Hey, that rhymed. Okay. It did. Um, you can find me at Monty Blue on, on Twitter, uh, where I'm just posting kind of random things. Uh, and you can find me at mm -hmm. twitch.tv forward slash what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> kind of random things, and then I remember that post about Mr. X you made recently. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you say you like Mr. X, do you mean... N Nadine, you shame us all for being horny on Maine, yet you yourself... <laughs> I, I'm March is, I think he's pretty neat. No one, uh, you know, no one's innocent. <laughs> no one man should have all that power. This is gonna get even funnier when I tell you more. Uh, so uh, you can find me twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. It's actually my birthday on Tuesday, oh. so Ooh. I'm yeah, I'm turning 25. I'm going oh, to be child. streaming that day, and I'm probably gonna have a few things to drink because I don't have any. No, everyone I know is busy that day, so we're not really oh. celebrating the day. So I'm gonna stream, but my friends, my real life friends, who are amazing and I love them, uh, found an escape the room 
that is a Resident Evil escape the room. Oh, and we're going to do that. In, yeah. in, 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 in the city you live in. Yeah. Bullshit. Wow. What the fuck? What the yeah, fuck? We found that... an the no, room. I know the population of this city. That is that that one Resident Evil attraction per capita. <laughs> it needs to be a much higher population. <laughs> that is a very they low. Know it specifically for you. Apparently, um, a friend of a friend has gone and done it and says it's amazing. So I'm super duper excited. I'm really hyped for that. That's what I'm gonna be doing for my birthday. That sounds uh, really cool. Yeah, I wanted to do mm. something fun. So yeah, um, but on Tuesday, uh, I'll be probably doing uh, some sort of birthday stream. I don't know yet what I want to do. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, I, I booked it off. Actually, my manager booked it off for me. I'm just like, oh, it's my birthday. So you're not working on your birthday. I'm like, okay. Uh, and then Thursday, which is tomorrow, uh, we're gonna be doing Let's Go Pokemon Pikachu again. Uh, and then on Sunday, we have our Divinity 2 Original Sin stream, no. where we, the baddies, have... We set everything on fire. Everything was on fire. Why do you say Divinity 2 Original? Just say what it is. We have our Sin stream, okay? That's what you have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're the baddies now. That's our collective group name. Um, we are the baddies. We... we I... <sighs> I can't even, the last fight we just had was probably the most stressful babysitting I've ever had to do in my life. I took no damage the entire fight, but I had to keep an NPC alive. And that was the most stressful thing because they openly walked through fire. And I was like, why are you like this? <laughs> so if you haven't caught that, I am uploading all the parts onto my YouTube channel, which is just Monty Blue. Um, so you can catch up. It's just raw VOD footage. Um, but you can catch us at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hi, guys. It's me, Taka. You can find me here. Uh, big upset last night in MNW. The main event, uh, Burnout Vaughn, who recently won the title, was supposed to defend it by order of the Inquisition. And there were a lot of speculation to who his opponent would be, but it was none other than the All-Father, Arkov, who defeated Burnout Vaughn and won the title. What does this mean? What does it mean? Find out tomorrow. Uh, okay. Got a lot of people. I gotta jump through here. Um, oh my goodness, you people. Oh, uh, God. Uh, 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 no, I, I hate food. Now my ingestion's kicking up. It's perfect timing here. Duke Skelebuns, thank you so much for the sub. I, I, I want to thank the following people for subs real quick here. I'll go through them here. Uh, Duke Skelebuns, Spaceman Joe, Spock Zombie, Gaia Green, Bernie Sanders, Hug Lords, X Main Liner X, Mark Wolf, Malefic Maleficent Cucumber. SKC19269. Zacko Duo gifting us up to Nutcase Art. As awesome, thank you for the bits. Uh, Nefast the Fox, thank you so much for the 16 month resub as well. Thank you for the bits, Maverick. Renfield88 with a thousand bits for insert reasons here. Well, thank you for inserting those reasons. Brizon Ice, thank you for the sub. One year. Dino White with 600 bits. God of Suplex. Ugh, never mind. The Hay Kill must have been a fluke. <laughs> Uh, Cowboy224 with a thousand bits. First live stream in like, wait, I don't know how long. Oh no, where am I? It's, I'm sorry. You, you, you're on the planet Earth. There's no escape. Unless you're really smart. But then you have to come back. Uh, Tana, Tan, Dana, thank you for the 200 bits. Scamman93, Viral Tech. Thank you for the subs. Talos54, thank you for the subs. Studio Fan with Elite Bits, 1337. Finally able to catch you guys live once again. Welcome back, Studio Fan. Cowboy, thank you for the bits. Talos54, thank you for the bit. F -f Sub, Malcontent TV with a 500 bits. Every, every day I die a little knowing Romfold is just an item. Initially, I thought you both could level up and I would see a level 20 Thor, but the windy, borky kind. Oh, that's neat. Blackfoot Ferret with 9,001 bits. It's over 9,000 bits. Baddies are besties. Aw. I think that's a shout out to your guys' original sin game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're the, we're the thank, worst. thank you so much, Blackfoot Ferret, for the 9,001 bits. Pyro guys, thank you for the bits. Argent Lyle 13 0 as with alpacas and top hats. It's ya boy Moose. Age of Scythe, Lunatic Pro, Shamrock Zero. Thank you all for the subs. I want to thank Master Monster 11 for the thousand bits. Hey guys, just got home and time to catch my favorite DD &D group. Can't wait to see what the shenanigans come up tonight. No, actually, Critical Roles tomorrow night, dude, but thanks. Uh, hey, oh, really ah, it's, good. it's all good. They, they, they're, they're, their Kickstarter was overwhelmingly positive. I, I, I am allowed. I'm allowed. Julie Jelly with the 500 bits. Happy early birthday, Monty. P.S. Go Bruins. Mm. Chat. Token or anything with a one year sub. Thank you so much. Dial, thank you for the bits. <sighs> Pyrophobic with the 500 bits. Love you guys the first time dropping. I love you, Gaijin. Oh, Pyrophobic loves you, Gaijin. Gear oh, Cannon. I love you too. Gear, can D Gear Cannon. Dungeon Crawling. Draconian 9. Pyrotherian. 
Flightless626, thank you all for the subs. Blackfoot Ferret with an additional elite bits. Someone else did the thing. Yeah! That's true. Now, by the way, did you... I wanna, I'm curious about everyone. Did anyone else see the... Did anyone else see the Matthew Mercer DMing for Stephen Colbert video? I started watching it, and then I stopped because I got busy. I only heard about it. JC Blade X with 500 bits. Thank you so much. Apparently, it's amazing, and, the and Colbert looks at Matt Mercer like he loves him all no, the time. No, so because it made it... He, he, at the end, he's like, dude, I thought I was ready for this, but you took me right back to when I was a kid before all of this started for me. God. Aww. He's just like, so do I have to multi-class into this? Oh, no, they don't do that anymore. Oh, thank God. <laughs> he's like, I'm... A, <laughs> yeah. He has this edition one d d Oh, man, that's so much easier. My, my favorite thing is, like, they started, and he's just got, like, the spell cards out, and, like, Matt Mercer's playing the spell cards. Like, wow, we didn't have anything like this when I played. He goes, yeah, it's probably why... There's a lot more people playing now, and he's like, he started laughing at Matt Mercer, and I'm like, he's not wrong. And he has, and he has a pet, and he has a pet beat, and immediately he ha uses his pet beat to scout don't air. Don't Kurt, Kurt, oh, don't sorry. spoil it. I haven't even started it yet. Oh, I thought you. Were, I oh. didn't. I literally only started, and they just started, and I couldn't watch. Just blare an air horn, and I mean, ah. Uh, yeah, that's why I just hey. yelled at you. Hey, 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 I got you. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, how so, about the? Oh, there we go. <laughs> what was that? Taka. You, you have something you need to read, my friend. I do. I do, and I see it. <laughs> Robonagiari with 20,000 bits from Ooh. the one, the only. But don't boo. You're part of the message, Nadine. You, you're going to read No. Yeah, yeah here we more, go. Actually. I apologize for last night to anyone who was there. I let emotions overrule sense. Monty, I'll stream with you on Tuesday! Exclamation mark. Oh, Implied boy. evil face. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if it's possible, I'd really like to do Mario Party. Oh, because... why would you do this? Is what? it two? Is it Mayro 2? Uh, well, it's the one that's on the Switch, because that's all I got set up, so I don't oh, know. I'll see. Gosh, I'll see. Fine. I'm thinking. Fine. I'm thinking about it. Pro so. uh, real fast. Yeah, let us in Probate. On it. No worries, dude. And thank you so much for the 20,000 bits, dude. And now, now, and now, if you, if you, if you want to test your senses, you can play the game that destroys friendships. The, the game of kings and fools. Reconsidering. Probate with a reconsidering <laughs> post. 20,000 bits, though, man. Thank you. So much, dude, and it's all fine, man. It really is. God if I do, I don't know. I might be. I might just do like a big mod podge of everything. I just want to play games I want to play. So. Oh, uh, really, really quick. Really want to thank you all so much for all the love and kindness you sent that Art Jack's way. Thank you so much for helping him out through everything that recently happened with him. It was greatly appreciated. It really was. <laughs> Joe, Joe Cats in the in our in our Discord call, uh, but in the chat and. <laughs> Connor just put in Death Stranding, but it with Eat Sand outline. <laughs> yeah, isolated Eat Joe, Sand. And Joe, Joe Cat responded with freaking oh Angry God. Anakin. Yeah, yeah. Angry Anakin yeah, yeah. with the burning leg. Burning leg Anakin. <laughs> he didn't have the high no, lack of high ground Anakin post incident. <laughs> we miss you, Joe Cat. We love you. Apparently, he's yeah. going to be starting another D and D campaign with some other people yeah, out with there. Yeah, Brachiozoid and I think Bradley are the only. Oh my God! Like the art for that campaign is going to be so good. It Damn it! Is. Damn it's it! Really good, yeah. Out the gate, they're starting strong. Speaking All right. of D and D and uh, being I, I, out I, the I, gate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to thank some people here. Hayden Harlan, thank you so much for the eight month resub. Hey, hey. Dr. Seven's son, Merrick the cat, Percival Wolfay, and Rainbow Snick. Thank you all so much for the subs. And don't forget, everybody, to support each other and make sure to only give what you can afford. And Cowboys, you do for with a thousand bits. Country Rose, let's go. It's -a me, <laughs> Mario. Okie dokie. <laughs> Mamma mia. Here we go. <laughs> Mario. Mario! Defective sheep with 500 <laughs> bits. Hey guys, I'm getting started with a bee-themed one-shot, and to commemorate, I would like to drop the Google Docs link to my Bees Force Warlock package chat. Would you grant me the consent? Defective sheep, you have given so many bits. You've been very kind, and for sheer morbid curiosity, can we get him permission? <laughs> That, why not? Bees is only if it's bees question mark uh, pact of the pact of the All warlock right. and platinum raven. Thank you so much. All right, let's get going. Okay, we yeah we're on the game. Okay.
When last we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, oh, and Task the Cobalt Ranger, oh, the party were... <laughs> your your so twin is here. To... <laughs> I'm so used to having a fifth. That's why I typed oh. it wrong. Oh. The, I'm here the too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the party returned to their beloved home of Alabas. After delivering Pilcher to the company of Solly, Panic soon came to discover through one of Solly's visions that a tiefling bearing his resemblance was sighted in the depths of the Underdark, pursued by the fourth warrior sent by Solar. With that information in mind, the party went to try and get into the attic. Panic, utilizing Liza's mask, found himself in the realm of the Alavastian tickets. Granted a vision of a devilish gate and a new mask perched atop an obsidian spire, Panic was soon cast back into the real plane and into the sky, tossed at the mercy of a rescuing silver dragon. Exhausted and posed with more questions than answers, the party returned to a sudden situation. An Ursiphon being pulled from the sweet dragon tavern suddenly became loose and chased after Bright the Barchova familiar, and ate both Task and Panic's casting abilities. Now as the night descends, the party is left to their own devices. So, it is now night. Uh, you guys are back at the tavern, and it is closed, so there's no one really inside except for Helga, more or less. Uh, I, I, gotta, so, I, I, oh. I, I, I shouldn't start this campaign with a completely derailing one-liner, but I saw something that's so important because of bees. And it's, welcome to Applebee's. Would you like apples or bees? And I don't know, it's just, it made me laugh, guys. Say that as Borky. Be in character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we're starting up a place called Applebee's. I can serve either apples or bees. Can we put the bees in the apples? No, no. But what about what about Applebee pie? Uh, you guys are served some food. Oh God, she brings out food. <laughs> you guys are sitting in the tavern currently with drinks loosely held in your hands. How many have we had so far that we're thinking about this? I would say five for each. Uh, <laughs> Christ, I'm a lightweight. I feel, I feel like there's so much. I mean, we just got back here. It turns out, guys. But for real, though, we have an entire underground basement now. We can put whatever we want down here. Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I can't. I'm, Borky's like putting his hand up to each of them, okay? A long time ago, I pitched a cheesery, and you thought I was doing a jape. I am not. I will find. I will hunt the cows myself and bring them into the fold. We have one problem with that, Borky. What is that? The rat. I'm going to be yeah, honest with you. I'm okay with you losing the rat. No, I'm not okay with me losing the rat. Actually, we already Borky. lost one rat. Okay, there's recently. Much, Borky, there's actually a much larger problem in that there may be some drift over, drifters and leftovers from the last occupants that may want to come back. We have the one entrance. We'll just be like, no, and push them away if they try and get in. You know. What I mean? The question is, though, they were not going in that way. So what way were they getting in? That's why we... we know our home can get overrun. But isn't that what Task wants with his rat thing? He started up with. No, guys. She not, who shall think, not be named. Thinking, you're all thinking so small at this point. We could have an underdark druid. Speaking of the underdark. Why, why does everyone just get so goddamn afraid when I start bringing out ideas? Well, well here's, here's, here's the thing, Task. You're from, because they involve ta ta giant rats, ta ta Task. Task, you're from the Underdark, and you scare the crap out of me half the time. Seconded. <laughs> get one more, and that's a motion carried. Like, uh, panic. Emotion. Is, how, yeah, it, 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 how, what's Panic doing right now? He's just looking down at his drink, just not having said anything for a while. Hi, Nick. Mm. You doing okay there, man? Sort of taps his fingers on the on his glass. I don't know. <coughs> mm. uh, well, what could we do to find out? Go to the Underdark with me to maybe save my mother's life. Well, that's a given. We just got to figure out how. 
we're waiting on information, aren't we? So it's not really much we can do until that information comes to us at this point. Right. Perhaps it is best if you just sleep for a night. Get rest. I mean, no matter what, we could just start digging. You know? Just start digging till we hit it. We mm -hmm. don't hit something more horrifying first, Borky. What, like a giant rock? Uh, more or, like a giant worm. Or um, a beholder. What's a beholder? What's a beholder? <sighs> okay. Uh, Tash just, like, puts his, like, fingers to his eyes. Oh, Roll boy. Uh, knowledge arcana for this with thank, disadvantage. Thank yeah. Thank you, because I was just like, Monty, what, what, what do I get out of this? You would have heard stories about these. You've never seen one. No, that's fair. He's like, I, I, <laughs> you, like... If you've seen one, you'd be dead. <laughs> Let's no, just I, put I'd it that be way. fucking dead. Uh, Arcana just... with disadvantage. There's so are. much fun, though. And that one. A natural one. You, What you know of them is that they can live in the Underdark. Uh, and... Anyone you know who has managed to get away from them, people die. Like, it's not like a group of people run into one and they all come back. It's like a group of them runs into them and maybe one gets away while the rest are being killed. That's kind of the stories you've been told. So basically think, uh, what's that big red guy that the the surface dwellers always talk about? Stan? No, Satan. It's Satan in the Underdark. Hmm, I thought his name was Stan. Yeah. I thought it was two. Yeah, his uh, fans of him call them calls themselves stands. Or Felzebeb, some shit like that. Uh, I've actually got a handful of things that I need to get done as well before we try and figure this out, as well as run a little bit of recon, see if I can get some information, you know, while our best snake boy is out doing that. Mm. I, I still... I, I know no one else is kind of in this plan, but I want to invest in talking to some druids anyway. I, I, if we're going into the Underdark, I'm going to assume it's really dark under there, right? That's so the idea. I put myself in charge of getting light. That's... Gre Greckles unsheathed the Sunblade. No, 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 something could happen to you. We need backups. He's not technically wrong if we end up getting split apart. No. It would be it would be best if and since all of us don't look in the darkness and can see everything, it'd be mm. best if someone at least all of us have one piece of light. Don't you have those That's... magic don't you have those magic goggles that let you see in the dark, Greckles? No, those were actually <sighs> taken from me during the boating adventure. Oh, Greckles, right, Greckles right. are gonna you're gonna need light more than most of us then. Well, that's why I'm glad I've got this. But speaking of, I do need to go talk to Jim Irons again. There's something of a... Something of a predicament that I need to talk to him about. Hmm. Some personal, well, I guess. I'm gonna go talk to Willow. Maybe we can borrow Bright for our trip. The shiny... The shiny Bachoba. You look over. All you guys turn and look over. You see Bright currently, like, standing between, like, ten empty tankards. Kind of pulls its face out of one of them and looks at you all. Uh. One second, I will communicate with it. Borky puts his fingers to his temple. You hear Ron Fault's voice go, "I'm sorry. What are you trying to do?" <laughs> I'm attempting to communicate with the with the with the shiny cat. Why? Am I not good enough for you? No. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Borky now looks dejectively down with a shocked reaction. He doesn't know to answer. Borky's now done. <laughs> <laughs> Bright goes back to drinking whatever it was Bright was drinking before. It's a drunk Choba. Greckles, if you're going to go somewhere to talk to anyone holy, it might probably be best to get anything that would actually have some sort of radiance to it apart from your sword. Well, yeah, I mean, that's where I got these. Holds up the flask. I mean, I could see if we could get some more of these. <laughs> these are pretty helpful. Mm. What What are we looking at, Task? I, I have no information about the Underdark, and that's kind of something that I need to alleviate. So what are we looking at? Uh, do Would I know that most creatures have sunlight sensitivity in some regard? Roll a... Um, I would say for this, roll a just a general intelligence check. There is one thing about sunlight sensitivity that has been altered for this campaign. 
So that way you can see. So sunlight sensitivity is a bit altered for everything in this campaign. Okay, fair enough. For you, you don't you don't get the um, the look at stuff in direct sunlight, and I go, oh my eyes, God. Yeah. So that's consistent with everything as well. So there are things I can see really, really well in the dark. Uh, five. Oh my God! What the fuck? My rolls are terrible for the past month and a half. This actually makes sense because as you're sitting here and thinking. Just like the surface world, the Underdark is different depending on what continent you could be on. So you could you could assume it's similar to where you're from, but you realize that might, might, might not be the smartest idea because it could be just as different as Alavast is to other places, too. Think, think, the Underdark can be multiple things, uh, Greckles. Think of it as like a country. One place in the Underdark is like a different country compared to another one. So I can give you some surface level ideas, but I can't give you everything. Mm, that'd be that's 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 fair. Well, I guess uh, I guess I better turn in. I got an early morning to tend to. I'll go to sleep as well. How Lights late out. Oh, it's like maybe midnight one a.m. Oh, hell, God. She, they... like, blows out the candles at the front of, like, the, the bar. She oh. kind of steps into her bedroom and closes Closing the time! What the papa? Panic, don't look too into this, but, uh... You want someone to bunk with you tonight? I think I need to be alone. That's fair. Just don't think too hard, okay? We, we, got, a, we, we got a lot to sort through, and... Just don't think too hard about it. And he just stands up and walks to his room. Okay. You guys all go to bed, I'm assuming, for the night. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys get all your spell slots back that were eaten. Hooray. Um, <laughs> any health that may have been... I don't think anybody got hit. The Dura Dura Siphon didn't seem too, like, violent. It just seemed hungry. Um, you guys get in a good night's rest. Um mostly dreamless sleep for the most part um and as the sunshine dawns you can hear the so sounds of songbirds on the outside the gleaming brightness of the sun streaking through the windows Greckles the is going out sounds to... of the streets Greckles going out to pray okay Bless sword of... <laughs> sword sword aloft out kind of in the in the in the back I'm taking you, my kid to school. <clears throat> I need you to roll a strength saving throw for me, Greckles. Oh. Uh, where's my save? Where's my save? That is a 17. <clears throat> it's heavy. Pointing it upwards is harder. Because you're not, like, you're not leaning on it, which Hollow is Hollow bones. Hollow and bones, indeed. You're, like, holding it up, and, like, your arms ache after you're done. Well, anything for the sun, Daddy. I, excuse me? Don't, don't call it that. <laughs> Ever call say it that. that. Ever again. Uh, we want to thank, we want to wish, uh, we want to uh, wish Gre Guys and Goomba the best of luck in his future endeavors. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the Unexpectables. I, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the thing that breaks you, really? Yeah. After everything we've been through over the last year? Yes. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> this is the straw that broke the many camels, many backs. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so let me let me figure out who's going where. Uh, Greckles needs to go talk to Jim. Uh, possibly okay. get some equipment if it's available. We'll see. What, what, what okay. was the name? What was the name of the of our wonderful lizard friend? Which one? Yeah, really. Iggy? Which one? The one is, with is the, he or Iggy? I, 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 Iggy or Izzy? Iggy. Yes, Iggy's, Iggy. Iggy's your guys' contracted inventor, essentially. Yeah, yeah, Borky would like to go to Iggy. Okay. But Iggy uh, and any shops along the way. Borky's got to find the light. That's his goal today. Okay. Uh, I actually wanted to check out a Druid district to see, A, well, to, to help out Scarbles' this little problem, but also to maybe get any informa uh, information on the... Uh, Fauna and flora of the Underdark. Also inflammation. Also inflammation. Mm. Yeah. I get that fixed with some good pain relievers. Mm. Okay. And then Iggy. And then Panic. What are you going to do? I'm taking a bath. 
having a bottle of our finest wine and <gasps> heading down below. Self care, God, oh, awesome self care oh, day. Self self care day. Self care day. Good. As he goes to the underbelly. Yay, yeah, right. self care. Self care <laughs> day. <laughs> I'm going to go crime for a little bit, boys. BRB. We'll start with panic, then. Um, you get a nice -ish bottle of wine. It is like fighting tooth and nail with Helga to have her relieve anything to anybody. I'll pay for it. Mm, this is a really, really nice ten-year-aged wine. You cannot afford that wine. Is but did you just potion seller panic? That wine has tenure, Zito! <laughs> You're a scoundrel potion seller. <laughs> is, is this is this some of the wine that uh, that we got for rescuing those people? No, this is different. Do we still have any of that? Mm, I could fill up an empty bottle with it if you'd like. Will not look so super fancy, but I would be fine with parting with this. You earned it. It's all right by me. All right. And she goes over and she fills up the bottle and then puts a cork in it and hands it off to you. It's just a clear glass bottle. Okay. There you go. You make your way. How are you going to get to the underbelly? Uh, probably the same way I always go to the underbelly, through a sewer. Okay. Say Tiango's uh, name in the mirror three times till he appears. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I'm going to say you find an alley. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. Uh, roll a strength check for me. Oh boy. That's going to be a 19. Wow. You you actually devise a plan to open the sewer grate. You take a piece of cloth that's kind of like hanging on a crate, like a piece of like potato cloth. You tie it off and you just grab that and you pull it. It gives you more leverage and you easily pull open the lid and you slowly descend down, dragging the lid over you. Through the process of MacGyvering, he Rube Goldberg machines the thing up. <laughs> yeah. Now, how's he going to get out? Same way. Headbutt. They redid all the music, so I'm trying to find my music here. Oh. Yeah, by the way, I'm not hearing any sound from the dice rolls. Really? Because I am. I, it I happens. Am. Sometimes it doesn't go off for me. I just want my sewer sound. That's all I want. When the dripping and the dropping. And the bipping and the bopping. The cacophony of farts. Okay, Zeta will serenade us while we're figuring this out. All right. Beautiful, thank you. I got... Wait, hold on. I have the tool. Why am I not using it? Do the, imper do the Imperial March. Here we go. Here we go. I, got, I got something that'll... Stop! <laughs> there we go. This will work for now. Oh, I like this. All right. Uh, as you begin to waltz down the sewer, um, the smell hits you again. It's You can never get used to it. Fuck. You begin to make your way. Roll a survival check for me. Nat one, die. Would you please Oh, no! No! Kurt, you are not allowed! I kindly ask you to shut the fuck up before I roll from now on, please. What the fuck? That's the second time you've done that. You're grounded, sir. I'm going to politely ask you to not ever speak. Okay, okay. I'm never saying again. I'm cursed. I'm cursed. God. So in that one. <laughs> in that one, yeah. Please don't. Ah. One second. Hashtag blame Taka. Oh, I'm in the corner with Goomba now. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Do you walk into a gelatinous cube? Fucking. <laughs> what? You get horrendously lost, and as you turn around, you run square into a gelatinous cube. Uh, you will take... Oh, wow. What the fuck? Okay. Three acid damage as I roll a one on every single die. Ugh. 
Uh, so you get your arm in there and it burns. Ha! Ha! Oh, wait, acid and, damage? Yeah, and you're resistant, I take, so. I take one, so. You only take one, but. Ouch. Your fingers feel sunburnt. <laughs> as you yank out. And you see kind of floating, almost like in jello, one of uh, Mel's zombies, like kind of swimming around in it. What, like doggy paddling in around it? <laughs> That's kind of floating in general. Just chilling, huh? Hey, how's it going? Uh, the ooze begins to move forward towards you. I'm gonna find another way. I'm just gonna okay. back away. You start running and the ooze starts slowly pursuing you. Uh-huh. With its 15 feet of movement every turn. Hey. <laughs> uh, roll another survival check for me. Natural 20. Natural 20. Mm, what a bounce back. And see, and that's, that's, that's what happens when no one talks before I roll. I whispered <laughs> a natural 20 for you, so I can, I have magic powers. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You begin to hear the sounds of combat. Uh, metal clashing on metal. Sounds of screams and cheers, as you know as the Crimson Pit. You make your way in, and you begin to smell tobacco smoke and cheap ale and blood on the wind as you make your way inside of the underbelly. You see now the same plethora of criminals, cutthroats and thieves, sitting amongst themselves, drinking their fill of cheap ale and eating what you could only assume is partially rotten food. As you look over, there's currently two combatants fighting in the pit. You see a triton man bearing a giant sword and you see what looks to be a samurai of some sort, currently locked blade by blade, battle by battle, and you watch as a swift cut of the samurai's blade, the triton's arm goes flying into the audience, and there's just dead silence. And then one guy goes, I got it, and holds up the arm, and everyone erupts into cheers as the battle continues. <laughs> you stand awkwardly at the edge of it as two guards kind of eyeball you and then give you the head jut of approval to enter. Two drow. I will, uh... I will go see if, uh, Averyman is in. Uh, you head towards the door that you know leads to their abode. Uh, and you see... kind of reclined back, uh, lax posed Tiengo, sitting in a large chair. Usually he has women flanking him. Not this time. Uh, perched in his very large hand is a book that he is licking his thumb and flipping through slowly and methodically. Taking up some of the fine arts, huh, big guy? Mm -hmm. He kind of double takes and sees you. He kind of snaps the book closed. You see the, uh, the cover of it. It says Earthen Grasp. And you see this, like, kind of windy dressed woman like her hair like flown back the back of her palm on her forehead as you see a muscly wizard like kind of <laughs> flexing on this mountaintop ah uh, yes the muscle wizard <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what are you doing here every man's expecting me we're scar girl oh you mean helena um she's not with me this time hmm business kind of nods yes. his head towards every man's door probably he rises up from his chair kind of pops his shoulders mu shoulder muscles pockets the book and then slowly opens the door for you to enter thank you you've been out of town for a while I think it, you've been watching me then. Mm, we have people to do that for us. Kind of slams the door behind us. Hmm. All right, I make my way towards uh, every man's chambers. Okay. You open the door and immediately you're hit with the scent of incense and perfumes and wine. Um, and you see sitting 
uh, arms kind of intertwined. It looks like they're playing kind of like a card game by themselves is Avryman. You assume Avryman anyway. You watch as they turn up and they return to that, that human female form that you remember. Mm. They go, oh, panic. It's so nice to see you. Well, I mean, I can see you at any point if I look in the mirror, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Tango, oh, you nice. peeled your eyes away from that book, did you? Mm-hmm. Good. That's refreshing. Sorry, I interrupted. You were going to say something? No, I was just going to say panic. Panic saunters in and sets the line down on the table. Oh, how did you know this was my favorite? She takes the bottle and then looks for a label and looks really confused that there's no label. I had to sneak it to lay down on this somehow. Hmm. She sets it down. Tiango, you can go. And he's like, hmm. He watches, he pulls up the book and walks away. See, he's okay. taking a breathing. Oh, yes. Um, who did that, by the way? I believe that was, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna insight her real quick. Insight, yeah. Sixteen. Oh, fucking a! I rolled another one. <laughs> I, I Kurt, I'm mad at you now too. Why? Well, no, okay. <laughs> I've not said a fucking word. I'm so scared that my voice <laughs> has power that I don't understand and I can't control. Um, you get the sense that every man is mad about the reading situation. <laughs> How tiny are his glasses? They're they're smiling, like they're doing like a smile, but they're gritting their teeth, and it's like you can see their lips kind of twitching a bit, and the eye is kind of twitching a little bit, like Isma with the dinner with like Cusco. <laughs> oh man, I can all all I can just hear is you hear that boy? You buy a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Panic sort of shrugs and says, Excuse me. Definitely wasn't Helen. Roll a dis oh, you're gonna say that? Yeah. Are you attempting well, to deceive her? Are you being obvious? I I am I am attempting to deceive her because it's like, well it definitely wasn't Helen though. Last time they last time those two interacted, she she gave him quite the scathing uh, speech. Roll a deception check. That's true, isn't it? It is true. But you're hiding. But, you said but it it's also Helena. true that Helena did indeed give him the book. Yeah, so you're deceiving on that front. Natural Na one. Oof. It was really hard to beat because every man roll a, like, rolled a natural 19. Plus, they're really, really good in sight. Every man leans forward and goes, I want to strangle that girl right now. Those books have made him so creative. It's driving me up the wall. <laughs> Soon he'll be going to art school. I take it your get togethers have become a lot, a lot less simple. Yeah. S simple and more cerebral. Mm. She like grabs the bridge of her nose and brings on her eyes, and you watch as she pulls her fingers down. Like the face changes too, into Helena's. <sighs> and as she brings her hands back up, it turns back into that human form. I understand why she did it, but why the fuck did she? She just pulls the cork out of your wine and just pours a big glass. Ten percent chance of mild to moderate disgust on Panic's face right now. Anyway, Sid, we're talking business, and don't worry, I'm not going to go after the girl. I would prefer it if you didn't. It's just there is this one book. Forbidden horns or something like that. And next thing you know, it's I want a tiefling. I want a tiefling right now. And it's like I only know like three tieflings, and one of them I can't use. And she points towards you. I'm not sure how I feel about that either way, but anyway. Indeed, I did come down here for the reason. Yes, yeah, so you're talking about the Underdark, aren't you? That's right. I have two pieces of information for you. That's all you One. know, or all you're willing to give me? Oh, all I'm willing to give you. And all I really know. I don't have really much... <clears throat> What's the word for it? Care about the Underdark too much. There are no changelings there, so my investment is... And she does like a zero symbol with her fingers. Fair enough. But there are two things there 
that are mildly interesting. The first I'll give you for free, because you've done me a servant before, you and your allies, with my son. Yeah, that's right. She's doing well. She's in the dock district under my watch. And my son, too. All of us. Hmm? I assume you're not too broken up about her new relation. If it means my child will survive, I can't be. Hmm. Alavast might be the last bastion that the changelings can survive in. What with Lobo Slackjaw slobbering at the walls in anticipation. Still around. Always. He's been chasing me for ten years. Or more. I've lost count. Anyway. Last time we interacted, it gave his horses a good thrashing. Then he... And for that, I will give you this piece of advice. And you watch as she pulls out what looks like a, like a book at first, but it's actually a box. And she opens it up, and she pulls out a black piece of cloth. And on it is this crimson red symbol of a spider. She kind of pushes it towards you. Do you know what this is? Can I make a history check or something? I will say you would have no idea what this is. But I will say you can roll a history check with disadvantage. Okay. 13? No. You don't know. Just look like a picture of a spider. And he sort of shrugs and shakes his head. This is the symbol of the spider, which seems simple, of course. You see, Panic, there are two types of drow. There are the free drow, and then there are the cult of the spider drow. Those secondary ones are the ones to be afraid of. From what I know is they dabble in demonic cult-like behavior. They fuse themselves with spiders. They tame spiders. They ride spiders. I don't know how many would be in the Underdark in these regions, but it is worth noting. If anyone's going to kill anyone from the surface, it's these. At least in any sort of organized way. So I figured I'd give you a warning in that regard. You may want to take some poison, either healing or resistances with you. Seems helpful. But of course, this is all a maybe. I personally haven't been to the Underdark, so I don't know. Uh, real fast, um, is Monty breaking up for you guys at all? No. Just for that one point. Okay. Continue on, sorry. Now, two. I want something in exchange for this. So what do you have to offer me? Panic, grim tongue. I sort of scoot bottle of wine closer to her. Please. And she reaches over and pulls back a curtain and just like floor to ceiling. It's a wine rack. Fine wine. It's nice. All right. But it's not that nice. What do you want? <clears throat> she leans back her head. From what I hear is that our old operation may have been reoccupied without your know-how by someone else. Oh, yes. I believe we had some mercenaries recently take care of that. Yes, I should have really told you about that basement, but I figured maybe it was best if you didn't know. Huh. See, that's where we used to make old Alavastian falsified tickets, which is how we got, well... What's the word? Busted, I think, would be the word that would be used here. I suppose so. Hmm. I would like a look around in there, if that's possible. I may have left some things behind. Well, anything that was down there uh, has been confiscated. Mm, anything that was found was confiscated. You're saying there might be something hidden? Nothing big, but some personal items of mine, perhaps. I just want a little peek. I believe we can make that arrangement. Very well. You watch as every man goes into their pocket 
and holds up a stone, like a rock, very crude, uh, geometric kind of in shape. And as they're holding it, you notice where their fingers are touching it about an inch or so down the finger is no longer human. It is now this sort of aqua silvery blue flesh tone. And she brings it forward and shows the rock to you. Have you ever seen this before? Have I ever seen it before? Roll an intelligence check. Nice. nice. You have seen that in the hilt of Azra Sahar's sword. Sword. Sword? Sword. <laughs> sword? Sword. Swipe yes. sword. I believe, I believe I've... I believe one of our most recent additions to the city, Azra Sahar, has one of these in her sword. I've only heard stories about Azra Sahar. I don't know what this is. And she puts it on the on the table and kind of flicks it towards you, like a marble. I'll pick it up. Uh, it's doesn't, it just feels like a rock. It glows actually significantly. Um, it's definitely raw. It's cold to the touch. Almost feels like um, maybe like a quartz or um, like a really, really hard stone. Um, it's slightly see-through. You can actually see through it, but there's enough light that it makes it hard to look through it. Hmm. Well, maybe we can both find out together. I would like to ritual cast identify. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you to make a wisdom saving throw as you do this. Oh, good. Fifteen? Okay. As you hold it and you cast identify, you suddenly feel as if the right side of your face has just been smashed to pieces. This oh. sharp, agonizing pain, like your eyes been popped out of the socket, sears across your body as you look at this thing. God. Mm. But do I learn anything? I'm going to send it to you privately. Ooh. So you may disclose at your discretion. I will make painful grunting sounds until then. Mm. Ah, ah, my ooh, eye! Ooh, ee, my ooh, ooh, ow! Ah. This is what it must be like to have a stroke! Um, ah! What? my bones! <laughs> <laughs> is is that all I learn about it? That's all you learn about it. It's just that name echoes in your mind. And every man actually looks kind of concerned. It's like, what happened? Are you okay? Ah, he's just clutching, clutching the side of his face, and he's just like... <sighs> Know what the under sun is? No. Bard of the under. Panic! You're speaking nonsense. Were you poisoned on your way here? Here, drink some wine. It's good for poison. <laughs> <laughs> Dilute the poison with a weaker poison. You got a I'll cold. Have some <laughs> wine. <laughs> I'll dr I'll drink the wine just to dull the pain in my in my face. Yeah, it fades away. It's almost like when you're, you know, when you your leg is feels frozen mm -hmm. and it's all sparkly. It feels it feels kind of like that, but it's slowly fading away as you kind of take a big gulp of wine. Is Azra one of these? Oh. Uh, what was you're that mumbling, again? honey. Speak up. Yeah. Uh, mm, it's nothing. It just uh, seems to react negatively when I tried to identify it. Well, it seems to react negatively to me. I don't like this. It can show my true form, and that makes me concerned. If you find more of this, tell me where it is. Last thing I want is Lobo Slackjaw finding it. That's fair. We'll be able to find you very easily. I'll go ahead and pocket that. Hey! She stops your hand, like grabs your hand. I never I said you could keep it. I think you were giving this to me. <laughs> no, I was showing it to you. Now, what would you want with something that would reveal your true form? Hmm. 
Roll a persuasion check. Well? You watch as she, like, slowly drifts her hand down to your hand and pulls the stone from your fingers. And she kind of flips it around. She goes, Panic, there are some things you won't understand. Respectfully. That information is privy only to me. You're very sweet, though. She kind of pats the side of your face. Mm. Fair enough. You know nothing, Panic Grimto. Well, is that all you have for me? Unfortunately, yes. I do hope it helps, though. We'll see. She crosses I'll, her legs. I'll pour both of us a glass of wine. And I'll I'll just keep sitting and talking with her for a while. Okay. Meanwhile, on the surface, task. That me. That's you. You begin to make your way uh, to the Druidic District. Oh, did you want me to, like, kill her? Hmm? Did you mean for me to say or do something in particular? Uh, you are in the district. You see the rolling green hills, the giant massive trees. It's like a living garden. All the buildings are plants, like giant tree trunks that are growing from the earth. Okay. Uh, do I find anyone nearby? Like, just, like, someone who, like, obviously, like, lives in this district and knows a little bit more? Roll a perception check. Okay. Okay, and my green could blank out too. That's rad. Shit. You are denied. I mean, I got like fucking close to nat ones. <laughs> Here we go. A uh, 17. 17? Oh, god damn it. No! Okay. You see standing cross armed. A large pigeon. It has the body of a man. It looks exactly like a man, except for it has a beak instead of a mouth. And a nose. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I hate it too. Um, it currently stands amongst a giant flock of various mutated pigeons. And it is staring directly at you. Can you repeat that again real fast for me over here, Nadine? It is like, you know, morph suits, like the things people wear. Like Green Man? Yeah. Green Man! Imagine that, but it's it's like a pigeon, except for it's got like a pigeon face. <laughs> it's currently standing cross-armed cross, cross -armed amongst, like, in the center of a crowd of pigeons. How much energy and raw power is it exerting? I'm sorry, I'm not there. But oh, it's... immense amounts. Immense. <laughs> Taylor, what is this? Ooh, it looks at you. Oh, it man coos. Excellent. Tash just looks left and right. <sighs> All right, well, I'm not going to play charades with a giant pigeon, man. I'm looking for someone who dabbles in something more uh, subterranean or someone who lives in... Anyone who has any knowledge of caves or the Underdark in, in this uh, district. I'm gonna roll its intelligence. <laughs> Please, please be all knowing. What, what, oh. Monty, why, why is Mr. Friend a pigeon? I don't know who that is, but. Mr. X. Oh, oh, I see. No, <laughs> this is like. This is like, um. Like. I'm trying to think of like. Protein. <laughs> Protein. Yeah, yeah, that's like the best way. Like, oh, that dude. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, Literally. okay, okay. Like, that is, that is like the Pillarman, like something like that. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Um, it, like, pulls an arm, and it, like, makes this weird noise, as it does, and it points towards the shops. <laughs> Look at the finger. <laughs> uh, Task is about to walk away, but then stops, holds his face, lets out a really large sigh. Okay, what's your deal? You, you, Ooh. you, 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 you. <laughs> 
God. Is it, like, it's doing, is it doing, is it just sitting there with the, standing there with the Andre the Giant pose with his arms kind of in front of it, like <laughs> arms crossed? Yeah, kind of. Oh, that's a very, that's a power pose if there ever was one. Cool. Get busy, artists. <laughs> Dude. Uh, thank you for the information. I have this small loaf of bread I can give as compensation. Just looks down at you. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna fucking run at a brisk pace. Walk, <laughs> no, gingerly walk at a very brisk pace that's a little bit over 10 miles per hour. All right, you start running, and a whole bunch of the birds kind of scatter at the sound of your footprints, some more than others. Uh, and as you turn around, you see that he's gone. Uh, but you look oh up in the air. Oh my god, I just <laughs> went the fucking- I've been an SCP today. Good. And then as you look up into the air, you see him literally flying away with his arms. <laughs> what the fu- I- oh. <laughs> You, you, Jack you, la you, la you laugh, Cito, but if we're ever- Damasi bullshit is this? <laughs> By the way, you laugh, Cito, but if we're ever invaded, you're gonna want him to drop behind the big baddie and break its neck, okay? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> there are quite a few pigeons here that are as equal- well, not equally, but quite frightening, also. <laughs> There's one that has, like, legs that are, like, three times the size of its body, and it's just, like, walking around with, like, these giant-ass legs. Oh my god. This, this, you literally just made a district that it's where all the artists go that don't know how to do perspective or anatomy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you run over towards what looks like shops. Uh, there is a large pond with a sign in front of it. There is a quite a few different homes and houses. There's one that's like a giant mushroom. It's very cute. Uh, where would you like to go? Um, are there any less pigeony people walking around? Uh... <laughs> WHY IS THAT SO HARD TO ANSWER, MONTY?! Uh, no one- no one is too pigeony, you know? <laughs> well, it's- it's whether they're working or not, so... Oh, fair uh, enough, fair enough. Yeah, cause this is- this isn't, like, usually, like, mainly a shopping district where there's, like, a ton of people. It's kinda <laughs> like... But it usually doesn't have this many pigeons. Well, I mean, it's a place for animals, so don't <laughs> judge me here. Fair- fair uh, enough. You do manage to see, it's kinda hard to notice. Uh, you do see, uh, a head sticking out of the pond. At least it's magical. I'm walk I'm gonna walk over. Ex excuse me. Oh, you watch as Moidos's head pops out of the water. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> what, fucking freak uh, show. Fucking freak show what, over the Druid District. <laughs> what brings you to the Druidic District this day? Uh, hello, Moidos. I. Well, actually, it's nice to see a familiar face. I'm actually looking for someone who has any information about subterranean uh, far, uh, fauna and flora, or something that would actually be akin to the Underdark. Oh, underwater fauna, is that an uh, interesting point to know? I mean, if water connects into the Underdark in this side of the country, then sure. Well, I'm from the Under Ocean, which is kind of an equivalent, but uh, I don't really know much about the land under dark, more the water under dark. Would you know anyone who does? Uh, the mushroom place right there. She kind of points a finned finger. They do more of the spores and things, not a lot of light in the under dark, so not a lot of plants and truth, so. Ah, excellent. Well, more thank you very spores. much. Oh, yes, no worries. Glad to see things are going well, too, with uh, the salt and whatnot. I'm not sure if you've been updated on that, but uh, things have been going well. About the what? You can, I, I, I lost a little bit on that. I'm sorry. The uh, the salt camp. I'm sure you remember I was leading that into shore. I've been harvesting salt for some time to deal with your little uh, vegetation problem that you discovered a while back, if you recall. Oh, yes. Well, I... Uh... Do you... Hmm. Uh, well, how... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. That's actually kind of interesting. How how far into uh, research have you gone with that? Uh, do you want the good news or the bad news? Probably the bad news first. It's a lot bigger than expected. That wood that you found it actually is probably most of the continent, as I can attest, at least from what we've discovered. It oh. is quite large. Yes. Uh, frighteningly large, probably bigger than Tracadia, maybe even three Tracadias. It's quite large. And the good news? 
Uh, I've managed to make a salt circle around the most utmost points that would probably reach Alabas in a few years' time, maybe. So that's been at least cut off. But wow. um, nature persists, as it were. Mm. Well, that's kind of horrifying. Well, I hope hopefully you'll find some kind of solution that's a little bit more uh, predominant than just putting salt around the around the city. Uh, that's all I really know is salt. So. Well, just kind of shrugs. Tell your husbands when it, new and old I said hello. Oh, well, I've got quite a few new ones. They found me rather quickly. Uh, got about 12 right now. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, very nice seeing you, ma'am. Do swing by again. Um, she gently drifts down. What's up here? Oh, no, it's just, it's like the crackling so random. Sorry, I... I'll, I'll stop taking it away. It's it's Discord. It I can't like my recording's fine. It's just Discord. We're, we're, we're gonna have to think about actually getting a server just for the voice call. Yeah. Yeah, or I have to get a new condenser because it is this condenser I've discovered. It's it's the the focus right. Scarlet doesn't Discord doesn't like it for some reason. That's uh, what well. I've been told. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. He so slowly head on. slowly drifts down back into the pond and disappears out of sight. It appears this is where she lives. This is her house. So. Ah. Uh. Uh, yes, house. I'm, I'm gonna go to Mushroom House. Okay, you go up. It's very delightfully adorable. There are hanging baskets of flowers with hummingbirds buzzing around. A uh, really nice, cute cobblestone pathway that leads up to a very, very nice oaken door. Start cute hearing, little you, round window. You start hearing two guys in the back door singing something about very merry on birthdays. <laughs> I don't get it, I'm sorry. Are you serious? That's oh. Alice in Wonderland! Oh yeah, no, I I'm not I do not like Alice in Wonderland. Oh, that's that's a, that's disheartening, Monty. That's my favorite. I know, I no, know. No. I'm sorry. The dis <laughs> no, the disheartening one was it's the Tin Man's, you know. Which one? No, the dishearten the disheartening is the the Tin Man's disheartening because he doesn't have one. Oh. No, Alice in Wonderland scared me as a kid, so I I I like it, but I don't like it if that makes sense. All right, fair enough. We'll, yeah. we'll we'll have rapid discussions about this later. Mark my words. Please, please don't hate me. All right, you walk up to the door. Yeah, knock on it. All right, you knock on the door and you hear a tiny little voice go, "Yes, come in." I do as instructed. Uh, as you walk in, you see a very old gnome woman with a big round wizard's hat. Uh, the top of it has a little lantern dangling from it with fireflies buzzing in and out. <laughs> it's got a really really long cane. And the place has all kinds of different, like, pots of mushrooms, dried mushrooms, and, like, wooden uh, shelves. You see a few hummingbirds kind of buzzing around, and various different, like, pretty insects, kind of like big beetles and things like that, kind of putzing around the place. Hmm. Uh, Hello. I approach my, I, I approach up to the old lady. Ah, uh, yes, nice to meet you. I oh. am, uh, Hello. I, I, I'm sorry. I I suppose I should introduce myself. I am uh I am Task from the Crafting District. I oh, own this, I'm one of the uh, owners of the Sweet Dragon. The Sweet Dragon. I think my son goes to drink there on occasion. Oh well, I'm glad he enjoys our uh he he enjoys our uh, establishment. Oh, how, what can I do for you today? Well, me and my uh. Me and my co-workers might be taking a bit of a plunge underground, and I was kind of wondering if you would have any information to assist us in saying, in telling us what lurks uh, below the surface in caves and in the Underdark. Oh, in caves, I see. She begins to flip through a big book. Let's see, underground caves. Let's see here. Um, <clears throat> should be something akin to that. There definitely are some, res some risky fungi to keep your eyes on. Um, let me see here. Well, any information you can give me, if you feel it's important, is very valuable. Oh, certainly, certainly. I mean, you're not the first adventurer who's come in here to ask me, but my memory's not what it used to be, and there's so many things I have to keep track of in this little shop. Okay, just roll a decent intelligence check. Mm, there's a few mushrooms you should be aware of. Um, there are ones that emit gas that could, if you in inhale them, can cause various different things. Uh, the worst being confusion. Um... So you must be careful with that, just not to inhale such gases. Um, there are ones that scream very loud. It emits a sort of um, pressure, and it shrieks loudly. 
Um, if you're trying to venture stealthily, I would be very amiss to avoid those. All right. Uh, is she going to provide me with, like, a a visual aid to know what these things look like? Yeah, she can draw you out something. Excellent. The gas spores, is they look like this. They have a rather bulbous top, as you can see, and they actually go deep under the earth. And as they do, they release a vapor, usually from any sort of deposits, iron deposits and things like that. They make a sort of alchemical reaction that causes this protection to your poor things being bothered all the time. The shriekers are particularly nasty, very, very loud. Um, and like I said, the risk there would be any creatures nearby would hear them and anything. There are some species of creature I've known, I've heard of from rumors, that will respond or live nearby these to, to hunt, naturally, so be aware. Okay. Um, there are... Hmm, let's see what else I have in this book here. Uh, there's Violet Fungus. This is not particularly nasty. Um, if you go near it, they actually will reach out and touch living things. This is how they invade other species and other plants. They basically invoke necrotic energies through them. Very dangerous. Parasitic in nature? More invasive than anything. I mean, parasitic as parasitic is. Spores are... can get anywhere. Um, the more worrying thing is how they remove the competition from their life sources, if you understand that. Okay. Um, beyond that, I'm afraid most of my knowledge of mushrooms comes from the surface, so that's all I really know. Well, with information that you've given me, it actually might be very wise oh. of me and my- Oh, what? There is one thing I remember uh, from an adventurer who came in. He spoke to me, not here, not in Alabas, it's back in Nomeria. Um, he spoke to me of legends and stories and depictions of, of beings made of mushroom that walk and move and speak. Humanoid oh. mushrooms? Yes. I know above ground what they are, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know how common they are, but I mean, they have a potential to be there. And like I said, in most underground places, mushrooms thrive in moist environments. So. Are they? Are they? Are they diplomatic? Can they be? In, can they be reasoned with? Oh, I don't know. I know, but mushrooms are talking ones. <laughs> well, I mean, the mushrooms do talk to me, but I, you know what I mean. Hmm. Well, even if you don't feel that your information that you're giving me is too helpful, it actually did prove to me that it might be prevalent that we get gas masks or something of the sort. Maybe a bit of cloth, yeah. I actually, hold on a bit, son. I can kind of tell you guys steps down this big giant step ladder. Uh, and she's like, give me two seconds to give me two shakes of a lamb's tail. And she kind of disappears in the back. Fuck is a lamb. You hear a buzzing sound next to your ears. You see a hummingbird kind of butting around. It actually sticks its beak into your ear. Oh, <laughs> God, no! <laughs> Flies around. Uh, she, come back, she comes back with um, about five cloth pieces that like are meant to fit over the ears, like kind of like a mask. I use these when dealing with some of my more potent spores, <laughs> ones that kind of give a numbing agent. Uh, perhaps this would be assisting you. They're a little bit too big for me, but I think they might fit you quite well. Okay. Uh... How much, uh, how much, uh, are you willing to part with them? Oh, how about five copper for each of them? Oh, certainly. Awesome. I mean, they're just cloth and string, easy enough to compose. Thank you. I, I, I give her ten for each. Oh, okay, that's, oh, very generous, thank you. Could I interest you in some mushrooms as well? I, I know that you're dealing with mushrooms, but perhaps you have some sort of um, potion making you like to do of some sort? I do, but actually there is something I would like to ask. If we are going to be investigating anywhere in the Underdark or somewhere where light is uh, uh, very small, I have a couple of allies who actually require to see through the dark. Do you have any bioluminescent mushrooms? Not those that last too long, if I'm going to be honest with you. I'd rather not put your lives at risk. I do have some, but they do fade away after about a week. And if you're going to be traveling for a long time, I wouldn't recommend. A hooded lantern or something would probably fare you best. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll give. Jock me. What other uh, mushrooms you got in store for me? Oh, I got stragglewort and rumble fungus. And, oh, I have uh, purple amulai, which is the glowing one. Um, what kind of potion would you like to make? A potion of invisibility, a, a potion of, of water breathing, of, um, what, what sort of thing would you be looking for? 
Hmm. Invisibility actually sounds very useful. Oh, yes, that is a very rare mushroom. And you watch as she goes over to a, a drawer and she <laughs> opens it up and she pulls out this truffle looking like lump. <laughs> it <laughs> smells awful. It smells like. It smells like how phlegm tastes. Oh! Oh, good! I love that everyone reacted to that because we all know what it's like. Uh, uh, what the fuck? It's like coming into a, a house that needs to be remodeled that has water damage. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the hood is very potent, but brew this in a potion. You get a very, very strong invisibility potion. How much would this run for? It's quite expensive. It'd be a hundred gold pieces for this. How many do you have? Uh, right now I only have three. Hmm. And if someone knew how to work with this material, uh, how many potions do you think they'd be able to get away with at least one? One mushroom can make three potions. I'll take two. Two mushrooms? Absolutely. I'll paper wrap it for you too, just to spare your nose. And she kind of goes over, waddles over, and puts two in a paper bag and wraps it up and ties it with a really nice piece of, like, uh, string, and she hands off to you. Okay, that will be 200 gold pieces then. I will hand her that. Uh, here's another thing. Uh, I know this is, uh, I, I know from what happened with Panic, it's gonna sound like I'm actually metagaming, but I actually wanted to actually ask if this was a thing. Uh, what about potion resistance potion? Uh, poison potion. resistance. Poison resistance. Well, you did say you were going to be dealing with some probably dangerous mushrooms. Uh, we have these really, really nice, um, red caps right here um these ones are a northern red cap these ones are very good for nullifying poisons we actually do have some berries that also nullify poison if taken orally but you would want to concentrate it for more potent poisons uh sure uh and uh mashing these together like with how what she with what stock she has and what she's willing to part uh how much for one bit of the ingredient how many potions could be made out of it um, one for one. One for one? And They're really tiny. Like, the, the mushrooms she has are super small. And... and the berries are, like, on a dried stick. So they would have to be, like, more and pestled together. How much for four? Uh, to make four potions? Yeah. Uh, that would cost you about 40 gold pieces. Fuck, I'll, I'll take eight then. Eight? Very well. Here you go. She hands it off to you. Now, you will need someone who has the right materials and the equipment to make those, so you may want to let them know. Oh, yes. I don't plan to just give this to any old person. We have a wizard in our midst who might actually be able oh, to take care of this. Excellent. Perfect. Good, good, good. You're good to go. All right. I'm at 390, then. Uh, and you know what? Uh, I am quite fond of this establishment, and I'm quite fond of uh, the materials you have here. Surprise me. What's what's one of your more expensive mushrooms? And shock oh. me. On... Oh, she kind of gets excited and she runs into the back. You hear some rummaging and you. she comes out with a really large, not large, well, large for her. She's a gnome. Um, it's about the size of a trying to think of an equivalent like a spatula this is gonna sound like a weird weird thing but oh no i get you I, I know shiitake mushrooms i know what that's the, about the stem is like the length of a like a spatula handle and then the actual top of it is the size of like it's like wide and it's got holes in it this is a moral moral mushroom hmm. well i am surprised what what would what would uh happen if we were to make a potion out of this this, if you use it, she kind of makes you lean in closer. Oh god, this district, I lean in. If you drink it, and you are to fight, and suddenly you find yourself at a loss of life, it will bring you back. I'm... From the, from the realm of unconsciousness. Holy fuck, it's a res mushroom! It's a one-up. Tat... Oh yeah, how- uh, give- give? How much? What? How, please? <laughs> this one is my most expensive mushroom. How much were you talking? Two thousand gold pieces. Ah! Oh! 
Uh, I only have 300 gold and 65 gilden. I, I, I apologize. I am actually very interested in this mushroom, but unfortunately my wallet is not as enthusiastic. What do you have for at least 300? I have a 300. I mean, I have, she kind of looks to her whole store. Um, she's like, if you want something for, for healing potions, there's that section over there. If you want something for more, um, uh, restoration sort of thing. We already have those in my potions one, uh, my poison ones. Um, I'm a little bit low. I'm not going to lie. In fact, if you're out and you find me any mushrooms, I'd glad to trade for them as well. If you happen to find any in the, in the wood. Um, lots of ones of dark vision being sold right now as well. So I only have a couple for those. Maybe one or two for a potion. I'm sorry, son. No, don't apologize. You've assisted me very greatly. Now, if you want to attract animals, I have some that attract animals. Um, I have some that... Um, well, I honestly... You have one that calms animals or makes them more uh, Ooh, at ease like with you. One that makes them go to sleep. I do, yes. Uh, this one over here. And she brings you over to this really broad like wide like shiitake mushroom style mushroom uh except for it's like blue with like white spots all over it oh oh that uh crackling is really bad is it uh i is am i the only one hearing it it appeared uh, for like a split second yeah like, not very I, i'm gonna jump out and jump back in real fast i am back okay continue on all right Alrighty. Uh, I actually like that. Something that will put creatures to sleep. That would actually be very useful. How much for it that? It has to be taken orally. Um, this one here would be about 100 gold pieces. Oh, man. Are you telling me I'm going to, like, fucking put a cloth over someone's mouth and put them to sleep? Hell yeah. Uh, they have to ingest it. She specifies. Like, uh, it has to be eaten as a pure form. Like, you can't even refine it into a potion. You have to eat it. Oh, man. We're getting into some Monster Hunter territory shit. I'll take it. Alright. $100 for that mushroom? Hell yeah. It's just a sleep mushroom, so just put sleep mushroom in it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to, like, be... Well, I have the violet fungus, the... Oh, wait, no, this that was me writing down for something else shit, yeah, so I have... You got enough eight things for making uh, poison potions, like, mm -hmm. resistance poison potions. Uh, and I believe you grabbed some for invisibility, enough for... Four. four. Yeah, yes. four things invisibility. Four invisibility, eight resistance, and one sleep. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Oh, of course, of course. If you need anything else, don't be afraid to come and, and grab me. Actually, uh, would you know anyone who's in the market for actually being bought up as a druid? For an establishment. Oh, um, well, I mean, the only two I can think of off the top of my head is, well, I'm... I'm I'm currently constricted with the uh, with the the Yidia clergy at the moment, so not me, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Um, in terms of two, one is that very frightful fish woman who lives in the pond, uh, and the other is a young young person uh, who seems to like to spend a lot of time with the birds. Oh, damn it! Beyond that, I don't know. I mean, druids tend to be very um, elusive most of the time. So if you find one, perhaps, in your travels and convince them, maybe they'll be willing to assist. I do have one more question, and then I'll be out of your hair, miss. That was a good, no trouble at all. I'm looking for someone who knows how to breed rats. We're looking for a female. Oh, breeding rats. That seems like an opposite problem. <laughs> um, hmm, rats. Oh, are we are we looking for pets or are we looking for familiars or less pet, more utility. I'm from I'm from the mountains. I've lived in caverns. I've seen how rats can actually be used and be capable as I guess the surface dweller equivalent would be dogs. Looking for something like that. Oh hmm. she kinda like her head kinda tilts out. I honestly don't know. I mean besides the familiar shop but they would be more for pets. Well, that, that, that at least gives me something to work with. Best of luck with your very strange mission. She kind of gives you this big smile. I just nod and thank her. And you know what? I barely have any fucking cash left on me. I'll throw her the 30 that's extra in my money. Oh, well, thank you. Bless your heart. Take care now and be careful. 
You as well. You ding ling ling head out the door, uh, back outside into the fresh air. I'll, I, for the sake of expediency, I was just gonna say I'll go over to the familiar shop and say, "Hey, I'm, I know someone who's in the market for buying a female rat." Uh, the females that they have are really small, like, like really, really small. They're like a completely different breed of rat, and they're like maybe like one eighth the size of what Scarbles is currently riding. Um, you know that that probably will not work. So. No, it probably will not. Yeah, they're definitely like friendly and companiony. They're not really like. They don't evoke a sense of like power, <laughs> if that makes sense. They, they definitely seem like the type of thing that would fall asleep on a wizard's shoulder, and that's about it. Hey, Monty, how much would it cost to get a pseudo-dragon? Pseudo-dragons? Um, if you're not a wizard, you probably couldn't get one, um, because they're a, they're a special familiar. Um, so unfortunately for you, having one, maybe, but having one that actually would do something for you? No. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. All right, yeah. I'm out. I'm out then. Yeah. Best thing you have is you have the pseudo dragons who work in your roost. They are very clearly trained by wizards. Um, I mean, I was in the druid district, and I was just like, you know, how how much is two hundred dollars gonna work with me while I'm still here and just bleed my money dry for now? Yeah, no, there's not really. They're they're very very much specifically for like spellcasters. Okay, I'm out. All right, Borky, you begin to walk down the crafting district. Do 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 just pulled up my headset. One second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? I'm back. There we go. Oy. Hello? Alrighty. Hello. Do 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 do. And uh, Borky's you... just skipping on down the road. Alright, you make your way down the, the broken steps of Iggy's shop. Uh, uh, do 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 do. And Borky just knocks on the door. The door opens automatically, like it swings wide open. Hello, it's Borky the Orky. It's, uh, it's time to get Orky, it's time to get Borky. And <laughs> the door slams in your face suddenly. <laughs> and you hear a noise behind the door. Borky just kind of looks left and right. Orky puts his ear to the door. <laughs> right, you press your ear to the door, and you hear a... And the door just swings open again. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, boy, here we go. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to pull up my character sheet. Oops, first roll. Ah, there we are. And that is a dex dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Yeah, that is... You fail. You fall face first onto the ground. You bash your nose as the door swings, like just like, like an eye blink open, like a rush uh, of wind. My, 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 I have danger sense. It's technically not a trap. Damn. Okay. So ah! <laughs> you fall forward, and then you watch. The, you you look up and you notice that behind the door is a mechanism that seems to be moving with a timer, and it, the door begins to swing towards you. This is dangerous. I'll give you advantage on this dexterity saving throw. Okay, Borky's going to combat action roll away from this dangerous door that he was not expecting. Okay. Combat action roll! 17. 17. Okay. Yes. You managed to, like, throw yourself inside as the door watch this, slams closed. Oof. And you're a as you see the mechanism reset in place. Uh, heck is. You notice now, roll, roll an intelligence check. Oof, that man, the hesitation oh, yes. in your voice. Oh, That's boy. a tall order. That's a tall order, but we're gonna ask for it. Yo, there, with, oh. adv with advantage, you should say, it was six, nonetheless. No, <laughs> there is a natural 20 on the other side. Mm -hmm. It's a magic door. Magic door. I should get one for the larder. You hear the sounds of the, 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 um, my brain just stopped working. Um, it's a weird not sound. the furnace, the, the fire thing. Brain. The, the forge. forge. Forge! Oh 
my god. It's like <laughs> when you forget the word, like a simple yeah, word. Yeah, if the you word. if you ever forget it, remember the the engineer of the Star Trek Enterprise was Jordy La. There we go. Forge. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, you hear the sounds, the, the snaps and the pops of the forge. Uh, you get the, the smell of metal, um, raw metal and ore and coal. As you begin to walk around, you see drapes of fabric everywhere. You see various projects littered about on different tables. There are like six different tables with six different projects going on simultaneously. Can, 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 I, can I see Iggy at all? Uh, Rule of perception check. Okay. Uh, I perceive... With the 19. You move forward and you realize that one of the claws before you, there's something on it. And you watch as Iggy begins to come back into visibility. They were invisible before. <sighs> oh, hi, Iggy. It's, uh... Oh, it's you. You're my hiree, the person who hired me. That reminds me, I need to probably contact my correspondence and update them and let them know that I'm doing some updates to their work. That reminds me. Oh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing tea. okay. Would you like some tea? I, I would love tea, tea, actually. I should probably go get some tea. Yeah, tea would be good. Uh, do you want milk with your tea? Yeah. Good for the bones. Mm. It's good for the bones. Yeah, very good for mm -hmm. the bones. Oh, bones, bones, bones. That's right. I need to go to the doctor's very He kind of scrambles up a wall. Uh, I begin to hear the sound of bubbling water as you kind of sit down. So, uh, Mr. Iggy... Uh, we left you some stuff a ways back. Uh, those, them scales from the Silver King, right? Mm, yes. Yeah, anything come of that? It exploded. Okay, cool. Um... Fuck's <laughs> sake. Uh, real quick question here as did well. Get, did you get the whip? Did you get the whip that I made? I made the whip. The whip came up perfectly. Uh, the whip... Uh, did we get the whip? Yes, we did. I... Uh, yeah, the whip... I think, believe the whip worked out, but I think it might be for more personal use. Hard to really tell. So. Damn freak show going on down there at uh, the inn. I have a quick question for you for your wares. Do you have anything that generates light continuously that is idiot proof? Mm. You see, the <laughs> thing is, is... Iggy, Iggy literally, Iggy leans forward to you. Like, he's like hanging on by two bars by his back legs. And he leans forward to you in like this praying pose. He goes, you see, the more you make something idiot proof, mm -hmm. What you see is the universe will just make a better idiot. So. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I have set the bar, good sir, and I intend to raise it. You want something that will give you light? It's something that is idiot proof, but something that will be good, refined. Where are you going? On a trip? Are you going out camping? We are going, going, we are, we are digging a hole, and we're going to keep on digging until we get there. You need a shovel that emits light. No, a shovel. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? anything that you know what? If it emits light in any way, get it in front of me, and I will hook you up with money. Mm. Eh. What do what? you got for me, Mister Iggy? I could make a glass shovel with light inside of it. How much light? Um, I had to put into the test stages. I can see. I can make you a hat that makes light. Ooh, okay. okay. All, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Tell me more about this hat. The hat that generates light. We could perhaps put a, a crystal, an iron stone that emits light inside, and it could be rest upon your head. Could it be yes. like at the front, so when I look, the light looks with me? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Uh, you think quite well. Yes, thank yes, you, yes, thank yes. you, thank you. That means a lot coming from you, Mr. Iggy. Hmm. You watch as his tongue sprays out and he gets thrown a wrench and he begins to like kind of place things in order and begins to sketch out an idea. The the hat will sit upon your head like this, you see? And then the lantern will be here. It will be fed in by an iron stone, which will be connected to a conduit uh -huh. here. And as you cool. turn, it will look. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah, let's do that. Mm, okay. How much money do you have on you? How much money do you need? This is where our eyes go. This is where our eyes narrow at each other, right? <laughs> this is now. This is now. We we both yeah, do I, ha we both I, do I, haka poses and start doing hakas at each other and to negotiate. His eyes flick around. The the iron stone required for this would be a little bit expensive, but the hat would be cheap. Okay, can I choose the hat? Mm, it must be something that can hold the light inside of it. But yes, you may choose the hat. But not a flat hat. Not a hat that is tight to the skin. Oh, of course not. It would be a top hat. 
top hat. Yes, I can do that. Mm -hmm. I know exactly where to go for a top hat. Is it nines? Is it? Is it nines? Yes. It's nines. Oh, they made fake. They made fake. And it yeah. made me so upset because it reminded me of this one time I dated this other lizard folk and she didn't like me very much and she made fun of my overalls. Uh, what? Very what? Nice overalls. Oh man, she missed out. You're such an inventive person. I know, right? Anyway, yes, I can look into this. I will go to that uh, hatchery mm -hmm. and I will I will hire a hat maker. Okay, just hat. just so you know, just so you know, we are going to be underground, so height is no issue. Okay, I will keep that in mind. <laughs> He begins to sketch all right, all right. But how much money are you going to need for the magic crystal that limits the light? 300 gold pieces, probably. Okay. It, it, what else could be added to this hat if I had more money? Laser sight, maybe? Yes. Okay. Yes. Work on that. How much for that one? Mm, uh... Let me see, and I will get back to you. Okay, Borky just puts 300 gold down at the table. Counts them individually. One, two, three. Whatever comes after three. Whatever comes after that, two. <laughs> Very well, I will get started. Thank you. Oh, can we get that a rush order, too? How much extra is that? 50 gold pieces for rush order of uh, this amount. Uh, 50 gold pieces. Okay. One, two, lots. <laughs> you give him the gold and he gets set off to work. So that is a hat with a light. <laughs> Gonna roll and see if it explodes, because that's literally what I have to roll for. No! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Greckles, you make your way through the city as the, the morning sun shines down. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, actually, we'll take a break here for now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll be right back. This has been fun. Everyone doing their separate thing. This is really, this is really fun to listen to everybody. It's, uh, it's really hard to split the group up like this and not be a chaotic mess. Well, I think that's. I think we played enough with each other that we just, we just, yeah. we're just enjoying hearing each other interact. And Zito's meeting the big buff, the pillar, I'm... pillar warrior pigeon. <laughs> now we've heard of it. He's the first to see it physically, I believe. I'm just imagining this moment. I don't know. No, what this is, this is. This is not abs. This is a different pigeon. What? There's it, two now. It literally looks like a man with just like a pigeon like texture over top of him. I'm okay. I'm scared. So I don't think Task is brave enough to explain what he saw. Abs. Abs essentially kind of looks like Bugs Bunny when he has some of Jordan's secret stuff. That's the best way of describing what abs looks like. I, I dub this person Coop. Be right back one second. Yeah, I need to. I need to get something. I'll be right back. Yeah, I need to eat something real fast. My stomach was growling. That's kind of why I called for a break. Hello, new server, who dis? Mm. Okay. There's echo going on? I'm eating bread. I'm, I'm eating fat. 
Well, maybe I need to, you know? <laughs> Gaijin, listen, I just brought in crackers, man. Shut up. <laughs> God, you guys are just on a rampage to shut me down tonight. Eh, not really. I don't know. Rarely do I get to be a shit. Really? Well, when we're alive anyway. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> At least you're honest about it. Dude, dude, Aki's making uh, homemade lemon cookies. Like Girl Scout lemon mm. cookies. Oh, um, I'm, I'm gonna show you something that Boo Radley just sent me that he implores that we show before we come back to break. Okay. Uh, be prepared. I, I, I even I'm afraid. Oh no! What? <laughs> that's such a just, that's such that, a bizarre interpretation. That's not a, no. That, I'm sorry, Monty. That is a Muppet. Yeah. It is. That is a fucking Muppet. Well, the one with the legs is perfect, though. That's exactly what it looks so, like. So I don't know if any of you watch Crocodile's cartoons. There's one where he did a gag about My Little Pony, and all of a sudden he's like. He's giving really shitty explanations for what each character's personality is like. He gets the Pinkie Pie. He's like, Pinkie Pie, the shapeshifter. And it's just Pinkie Pie's head yeah. on a pair of human legs. I remember that. That's exactly what that reminds me of. Oh, the, hor the horse cartoon program. Yes, horse cartoon program. It was a great oh, yeah. fucking cartoon. Oh, that was yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. I'm, I'm going to show this off in chat. There you go, chat. Cool Uncle Muppet. There's so many OMGs and WTFs. <laughs> it's like, who do you focus on more? The human leg bird or mostly bird man? <laughs> man, man, I just choose not to. I just choose not to for both. Yeah. Okay, so, I want you to understand, is that, I want everyone to tell me how they believe the the pigeon with human legs actually moves. I imagine, like, when the legs are lifted up, the whole body has to shift one way to bring the legs up and around. See, so you'd be, you be wrong. It actually handstands and fucking, like, on its wings, and that's how it goes. It cartwheels away. It doesn't- it doesn't run, it cartwheels. Huh. It helicopters the legs to fly. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Yes, this is what we are doing now! <laughs> and meanwhile- like The breakdancing, you know, the breakdancing move? Yep, the mm. windmill. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, oh my god. Jack did one. <coughs> I'm back, what's up? So we're literally just Chun Li's away? I, I fucking oh, no. Jack, I hate this. Jack. Yeah, Why? That's that's accurate to what I was I, oh, I had in my brain. I'm, I'm so glad that you decided to make him all might. Basically, yeah. It's okay, <laughs> because I am it's, it's bird might. Plus There you go, chat. Plus bread truck. Well, there are. Good. Sorry, has anyone been doing any callouts, or should I just jump through the last couple? No, of no, we've been, we've been figuring out how weird demented birds move. Blackfoot ferret with elite bits. Shadow Dancer Bob has new emotes. What? Blackfoot ferret thing with elite bits. Thanks for the information from that wonderful Bobby boy. K-pop barbarian. Thank you for the bits. Let's be the one, the robot. Thank you so much for the bits. Poop on some monkey for the bits. And Syria has say, Syria say with twelve hundred bits. I was looking forward to this on my day off. Chill afternoon for a teacher in Japan. Heart, heart. Ooh. I think you and Goomba have a lot to talk about. <laughs> we do. We actually do. Jerpy do you with 300 bits. Monty terrifies me because she has a role for which pigeon monstrosity appears. <laughs> the higher the role, the stupider the pigeon. We also, in the middle of this session, we got Drago Master Outcast with 1,000 bits. Hey, guys, I'll be starting my Diesel Punk-inspired D&D campaign. I just want to ask the cast if y'all pick a race and vehicles and name them so I could put them in a game if you got time. Ooh, we probably don't have time right now. Mm. Yeah, goblin, Blitz, goblin Blitzkrieg. It's not bad. 
That just Three cream like punch buggy. That's all I was gonna say. Just want a bug. No, no, bug I'm sorry. I, I resent what I say. A goblin and the name of the fucking ship is called I'll Say Plenty. Uh, we also got, wow, a thousand bits from Midland Ninja. Ahoy, hoy! Thank you for the thousand bits there, JK Gamer as well. Thank you for the sub. And Pyrotherian with the 15,000 bits earlier when we were just starting out. I just wanted to thank you all for the years of enjoyment you have given everybody. I also got to ask if everyone in the party had a superhero name and power, what would they be? Uh, uh, Borky would be the Rasslor from Codename Monkey. The Dexter's Lab spinoff show. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you that's very good. much. Thank you very much. If you can't think of anything else, it's okay. We will. Yeah, we... I can't think of anything right yeah, now. Yeah, that was, that was solid. Thank you. I, I was like, you're talking about mm. the rest lore right now. Anytime Macho Man, Rand Macho, Man, Macho Man Randy Savage gets in front of a microphone, we are blessed with this amazing, with a one-of-a-kind voiceover. <laughs> There's no one quite <laughs> like him. But Pyro Therian for the 15,000 bits. Thank you so freaking much. Pentageddon as well with 1,000 fitty bits. Humongous, Connor? humongous flaming sun daddies. Is, Con <laughs> is Connor back? Oh my God. Connor. I'm here. Okay, let's keep going. Alrighty. You guys all good to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A less Abby, a less Abby Birdman. I'm gonna All right. I'm gonna jump Greg. out. I'm gonna jump out and jump back in real quick before we start. Actually, just to make sure. Okay. Could have called him Sun Pie. Says Chat. <laughs> All right, Greckles, you begin to walk down mm. the streets of Alavas towards the clergy district. Mm. It's a beast, but a god. How does that even make any sense? He's just muttering to himself at this point, just walking down, completely roll, engrossed. Roll a perception check for me. Perception. Oh, bam. Oh, that's a six. Six. Uh, you bump into someone. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. You look up and you see a black-robed individual with a wide brim hat with a veil coming down it. And they are currently holding a rod with a chain that comes down with a tin plate with incense currently burning. Oh, jeez, that is complicated. Ah, terribly sorry about that. Are you all right? Shh. Um. They kind of gently kind of brush you to the side. Uh, you notice now looking past them, this is a funeral parade. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, Greckles takes many steps to the side and, and takes off his uh, his wide brim hat. Uh, you watch as the Hoketh cleric you now know is currently leading what looks to be a coffin uh, to a resting place. Uh, is being carried by many armored individuals, a lot of dragonborn. Uh, there seems to be a small grouping of people kind of heads hanging, kind of following along. Oh, no. Um, Greckles is going to kind of, as, as inoffensively as possible, just kind of lower, low headed, go up to one of them and say, I'm terribly sorry. Who, who was that? Uh, you walk up to a, a gold dragonborn woman wearing, uh, black robes also. She kind of looks down to you. She goes, my father, I'm and leader of the Orthoc Temple, Tranquilla Saint. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. And he he was... lived a long and good life. I see. She did not mind. She keeps uh, walking. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. And just as as he turns away, oh, Task is not gonna like that one. Yeah, you begin to move forward. The air around you now feeling a bit more lightened mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> as you move towards, and you see the Temple of Orin. Uh, doors open, propped mm -hmm. open. Any any uh, changes? No, it's about the same. Cool. Clean steps. You Greckles. do see as you walk up that weird cat drawing 
lying down on the porch, licking itself. God damn that thing! Oh, it's so creepy. Uh, yeah, meow. Meow. Is it doing that long? Is, is it doing the long lick of the leg? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and like its tongue is like a singular line, which makes it even weirder. <laughs> ah, no! Greckles, Greckles, Greckles is gonna do that full circle sidestep around it, just shuffling feet right. to get in, to get inside. Uh, take, taking off his hat once again. You walk inside, the sunlight streaming through the windows. Uh, and you see Evelina currently. Uh, looks like she's like restocking candles. Ah. Uh, oh, oh hi. Oh hey, Evelina. How you doing? Good. Are you looking for my uh, my uncle? Yeah, actually, is he is he around? He's out, actually. Oh, oh. Greckle, yeah, Greckle, dead. <laughs> Gre Greckle's Greckle's like looks down, just kind of shaking a little bit. Just looks for something to sit on. There's a pew. There's a bunch of pews. All right, he'll he'll sit on a pew and he'll just kind of have like a a mid a mid distance stare, looking kind of down. Uh, I can help. I'm a cleric of Orin. Uh, I suppose that's fair. <sighs> Evelina, I I learned something rather odd from a, another, well, I guess ex devotee of Orin, and it just kind of startled me. He said that the power that Orin grants is stolen, that that which is worshipped is not really a god, but a, a beast. That is sacrilege, and she drops her basket of candles on the ground. Don't... Don't say that. Well, Evelina, that's why I'm here. I need answers. I don't know. I don't and neither know. does Irons. Uh... Roll an insight check on her. Please be decent. That's a 21. 21. You get the sense that it's not what you said that's upset her. The fact that it's true might be more upsetting. Ah. Uh, I, I guess it's just I don't know what to think. I don't know what to believe. You wouldn't have a pamphlet, would you? Nothing would tell you anything you don't already know. I guess that's fair. And and this too, Greckle's like not not pulling the blade out, but just showing showing the sword. He he said that this was just a, a dime a dozen thing that was just given out. Her face kind of wavers. Yes, no. It used to be a more unique blade, but then they were, you know, made on moss and were given to. Heralds. And there's quite a few of those. And commanders. And a few key paladins. Is it sacrilege for these things to exist? That's up for debate, it seems. Oh, complicated questions, I know. All right, well, I have something. Yeah, you're kind of coming in here with the hard hitters. <laughs> well, yeah. imagine, imagine my life for the last couple of days. Look, uh, let's let's make this a little bit more simple. Uh, we're actually going to be going on a mission to, uh, well, the Underdark, and we'd like to be prepared. I personally don't know what we're in for, and I know it's very dark, and I thought perhaps there was something here that could help me. She looks down to the basket of candles. <laughs> Want some candles? You know what? I'll actually take one. Here. She gives you three. Thanks. Um, holy water wise, we're really low. No, yeah, that's understandable. I have two, two vials. Um, how much? You take them, they're free. Oh, thank you so much. They just take a while to make, you know, there's a whole ritual involved, so. Um, if it's any consolation, these literally saved Panic's life. Well, I like to think it saved Panic's life. Oh, we that's were, good. We were in Tricadia the other day. Oh, terrible, wretched place. Really? I've heard it's really nice there. Uh, during the day. From during who? the day. <laughs> You're really from who? Yeah. Are, is, the, is, there, 
is there any other clergy that might be able to help give me some more information about the Underdark, what to expect, how to protect ourselves from it, anything? Hmm, I have a role in knowledge religion. Come Seek on, out... Claire! Come on, Claire! <laughs> Seek Jerry. <laughs> Who's Jerry? Hello! <laughs> oh, God damn it! Uh, hello! The she thing. looks at you, kind of cocks her head and goes, maybe the Illinae clergy? That might not be a bad idea. Their temple's just over past the Vetrion one. You can tell it's a Vetrion one because it smells like sweat. Just keep going huh. farther past there. And it's got like a big crescent moon on the top. All right, pass Vetrion to Il Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Uh, sorry I came in with such hard and fast questions. It's just been- I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, as much as we can help, a lot of this stuff you kind of have to find on your own. Well, that's fine, but as someone once taught me, it's good to try and find teachers. Yeah, but sometimes the best teacher is just experience. That's fair. I accept that. But regardless, thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Greckles is going to head out and go to the uh, Temple of Illinae. All right. Uh, roll a perception check for me. Oh, please, not another death. Uh, that's a 13. You swear you hear wings for a second. As you turn and look, you don't see anything. Dang. Keep walking. D dodge the bullet. <laughs> um, uh, Greckles is going to check around, make sure his money's still with him. Okay. Yeah, your money's there. Okay. And, and items and things. I don't... Just things with wings? <laughs> after after all the money we've lost? Is just... Oof. Okay. All right. Uh, Greckles continuing his way. Okay. Uh, you make your way to the Illinay Temple. Much bigger in comparison. Sure. Uh, and you go on in. Sure. Well, I mean, if it's... It, as it's... long as it doesn't seem, like, too rude. I mean, all the temples appear to be kind of, you know, walk in. You can kind of okay. come and go as you please. Sure. Uh, as you walk in, it's a much cooler room, uh, mm -hmm. like, physically. And also cooler in the coloration there's a lot of cut blue stone very much like a blue and like a midnight sort of theme mm -hmm. um and you see in casual wear uh Naragan, actually oh, what is oh, his casual what does his casual wear look like this is important uh, he is wearing um a it's like a vest um uh, you remember tigress from from sure. Kung Fu Panda. There like we the, go. She had that vest sort of attire, but uh, the front of it is like uh, laced with um, like these sort of like admiral jacket um, buttons in a way. It kind of zigzags back and forth. It's very refined looking. Uh, pants wise, it's like a very nice set of, of black pants with buttons at the, at the cuff at the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're wearing a very nice blue sash across the waist, tied. Uh, into a knot. Proper lad. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's oh. looking pretty good. If he has a little the stock, Rogan. if he has a little pocket watch, it's done. It's done. Narag, it's good to see you. Oh, Greckles. How nice to see you here. Yeah, it's strange my... to see you in a temple of Illinae. Uh, well, it's been kind of an adventure, actually. How fares Cousin Solly? Solly is doing well. Many things are happening with her right now, and, well, it's interesting. She's actually sending us off on a mission, and that's kind of why I'm here. Oh, I see. Um, he kind of sets down. It looks like he was, like, like, kind of, like, doing maybe, like, inventory or something. Sure. Uh, he had a check, like, kind of, like, a little clipboard. He puts it down. He goes, um, what, what are you looking for? Well, Naragan, um, we're actually going to be venturing into the... Underdark. Oh, and that I... is a much dangerous place. Are you certain? By the will of my. Gre Greckles just kind of stutters at that. Why, my. So. 
Sully's Sully, Sully's sending us down there for a very important mission, and it, it can't be helped. Well, Sully may be the one that's sending you, but you are the one that is going. That is the truth. And it, which is why I'm here, to try and get as much information and prepare for that journey. In terms of the Underdark, I do not know much. All I know is that it's a dangerous place. But how is it dangerous? What is it fraught with? Like these are the these are the Mon answers or the questions. Monsters and creatures that the world has not yet seen. <sighs> Narrow and wide tunnels that bring a risk of falling rocks or slipping um, into crevices and ravines into the depths. Well. In its name, the Underdark, your sight will be untrue. And that's what especially worries me. <clears throat> I, I don't know, Naragan. I've, I've been looking up and down this district trying to find some kind of answer to, to prepare. What would you do? Hmm. Kind of strokes his chin and goes. <clears throat> Sometimes... We cannot dwell on the what-ifs forever. Sometimes we just have to go and see what happens. It seems a bit foolhardy, and any precaution made is good, but you cannot spend all your time being as precautious as you want. In the end of the day, you're going to have to go if that is what you need to do. Mm. It, well... The saying is, hope for the best, Prepare for the worst. Greckles chuckles a little bit, and who said that? My sister, actually. Oh, my apologies. Hmm, it's good advice. It is. Well, sight is definitely an issue. Is there anything I could perhaps purchase, either here, here at the temple or elsewhere, that um, illuminate the path, so to speak? Uh, hmm. We have candles. I got plenty uh, of those. And Crackles holds up the candles. Oh, oh perfect. There. Um, a lantern, a hooded lantern, I'm sure would be a good a good investment. Uh, something something discreet. Light and discreet. Um, well, you could talk to Miss Willow and see if she could make some dark vision potions, perhaps. That's a good idea. If we can find the materials in time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down above game, I know. <laughs> Let me role play this role playing game. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you need a um, min max. I do. I might actually kind of pats around. Let me go look. I might actually have a scroll of light. It doesn't last very long, but it could be of some other use. No, better than nothing. All right. And he kind of walks away. And he comes back. And he hands you a scroll. How much? It's mine. I made it a while ago. You can keep it. Oh. Such a... Greckles mut mutters under surface. Such a generous day. One of my dates didn't go so well, and that's all I really have to remind me of it, so I don't oh. really want it anymore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I've had a slew of bad luck, but as you do. Well? If you're ever trying to look for a special someone, you can always come by the Sweet Dragon. We always have uh, interesting characters come in. Greckles. I work there. I meant off the clock, Narakin. Oh. <laughs> Greckles, I work there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Dude, what? <laughs> Bruh. Right. I was just waiting to zone, like, what? Like, fucking, fucking, uh. like, fucking Scarbles? No, thanks. Uh, I've, been, I've been down that hole. Well, between <laughs> you and me, I mean... Helga is respectfully a little too mature for my preferences. Uh, obviously, Meryl is far too young. Um, Willow is easily taken. Um, Naragan, you're talking of, of work still. When, when I speak of coming to the Sweet Dragon, I mean as, as you are now. And meeting new people. We have all kinds of people coming in nightly. Yes, gnolls. I don't want to date a gnoll. No oh. offense, but it's the laughter. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <gasps> if you want, find some time. Take some nights off. Go, go, go 
do things, go... <sighs> may, may I speak my mind in, in a temple of the truth? Please do. <laughs> it would be really nice to get another night guard on. Okay, then if... we can make that happen. Thank you. You're very welcome. Anyway, I do have some more work to attend to. We're fixing some damages from the winter months. Snow is a lot heavier than it looks. Especially when it all comes down at one time. Boy, that yes! Was... The frame of the building currently has seemed to have suffered some damages, so we're sending a report off to the uh, uh, Gromoth clergy to see if they can do some repairs for us. A favor, in kind. Oh, that's fair. All right, well... I appreciate your time, and we will definitely get you some uh, night relief. Ah, thank you. Uh, may Ilene guide your path. Greckles bites his tongue once more time. One more time. Thank you. All of you guys have finished your outgoing work. Do you guys wish to reconvene together? Sure. Uh, <laughs> sure, but no Greckles. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll just go. <laughs> I mean, uh, un until the news is dropped on task, I'm pretty much heading back. Yeah. Yeah, Borky's, right. had, did, Borky's made his order. Rush. You guys have made your way back uh, to the Sweet Dragon. Um, <sighs> and as you guys open up the door, you see sitting at a table uh, uh, Willow and Doros. Oh. Doros hey, has his arm in a sling <laughs> and is currently holding an ice pack to his head. And Willow is sitting and is just drinking a cup of tea, it looks like, and kind of turns around and looks at you guys. Well, obviously there's a story to this. Mm. Also, hi. Doros just kind of scowls. Also, hi, we're back huh? from Tracadia. It was bad. Very bad. It's an oh, awful place. Oh, I didn't realize you guys would be back so soon, though, so at least it was short. Yeah, how was your hike there, bud? <laughs> Bookie gestures at Doros. <laughs> Doros looks like a mixture of depressed and tired. Like, it's hard to describe. It's just it's like this deadpan stare at the table. Oh, my God. Uh, can, can we insight him to see how things potentially would have gone? Sure. Because it sounds like he was trying to pop the question. That's 18. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. Okay, it's 11. Uh, you get the sense that... Sick. Um, Task, you get the sense that it probably went fine, but it could have gone a lot better <laughs> for him, <laughs> at the very least. And as you kind of notice him, you kind of look at Willow and notice that she doesn't have a, str like a scratch on her. You get the sense that something happened where everything intended for her happened to him. And he received the blunt of that. So, uh, what happened? Uh, well, uh, we, I thought we were just going on a hike. And at this point, Doros kind of perks up, like, he just looks really tired. Um, we went on a little bit of a camping trip, sort of. Um, we went up the, um, Everbright Mountain to the top mm -hmm. again. Um, and, uh, <laughs> she kind of lifts up her hand and you do see a wedding band. Um, oh! Oh! Borky puts his. Borky starts like doing the little girly pose. Ah! Like, Borky just kind of yells <laughs> out. Borky's Bork just not sagely at Doros. Doros kind of gives you a thumbs up, and he watches this like his. You just hear like a bone cracking noise as he lifts up his other arm, like it's just like oh. Oh. joints popping. Oh my God! Drinks are on the house. Oh, we already got drinks. Um. I just. I've always. Not... I've always wanted to say that. Just let me. Just... Can you oh, make your sorry. special day a little bit about me, please? Rags are on the house! Helga <laughs> <laughs> just kind of rolls her eyes. So you two are sealing the deal, huh? Uh, I guess so. I mean, we're just engaged. We're, we don't really have... I don't, at least I don't think we have an idea of when. Doros kind of shrugs. But, yeah. Okay. No. I, 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 I got it cut right through it. Wherever you're getting married, wherever it's happening... Please tell me the after party is happening right here. Well, I mean, I don't can't think of anywhere else to go. Yeah! Party here at the bar. Party here at the bar. At the bar. <laughs> the boy keeps... Mr. Bobbington, when I was engaged! He is still gone, Borky. Oh. 
but we should probably have some sort of special meal to celebrate this thing. <laughs> she kind of looks confused. Like, what, whatever the just, fuck this is. She's gesture with one hand, whatever this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, God. As long as you two are happy with the results, that is very nice to hear. Nice. <laughs> yes. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. I mean, it's really funny. The first time, well, I mean, when Doris and I, you know, we kind of got together, I was, I also said yes because I was terrified of him, but <laughs> it kind of worked out, so. Have you two thought of a, a possible honeymoon location? Mm, we were actually thinking maybe instead I could open a shop downstairs in my tower instead. Oh, that sounds fantastic. It's a weird vacation, but okay. I mean, the vacation can come afterwards. We're, we're going to want to stay in Elevast, I think. Anywhere else would be a long time to travel. I would not suggest Tracadia. Oh, really? We were thinking about it. Mm, no! Rides there. No! Hard, hard, no! You got hard pass on that. Maybe... Doros kind of leans and looks kind of quizzically, because he's from Tracadia, too. Maybe Tracadia capital, but not West Tracadia. Not, not oh, yeah. right now. Whatever you do, Doris don't leave is... the resorts. <laughs> Doros, like, looks kind of perplexing, and in the moment you say that, Panic goes, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And kind of nods. <laughs> Yeah, That's what the weed dealt with. Zeno got what I've said. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. fuck yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. Anyway, focusing on work right now. Um, all the excitement aside. Um, you guys have anything you need me to do? I do, uh, actually. Okay. Uh, I... I quickly grab my book so I can write down. Gregor, shh. Gregor. So, so does Hess just have like this mountain of mushrooms in his hands? Well, he has a he has a satchel of shit. Yeah. So I put it in order, by the way, boys. Figured I'd tell you, I got myself a special head mountain light creator. Well, it's a lot better than what I did. He just as Greckles holds up the simple scroll. What does that say? You have the, you have the candles too. Well, and I've, the candles. I got us some information. Oh, Don't thank worry, thank gods. And I got us a little bit of information about, like, at least the flora down there, but I do have some things that might help us, but not particularly towards the Underdark. Well, it's still better than what I got. I got nothing but bad news, boys. So, uh, turns out we've been overworking Naragan a little bit. We need to find another night shift. That doesn't seem too terrible. We can do that. Oh, Task, it gets worse. What? Um, Task, you remember that, uh, Sage... You were talking to on several occasions. I, I think you only mentioned Tranquilla, it in brief. Tran Tranquilla Saint. Tranquilla Saint. Um, he's a uh, he's he, he just kind of leans down to you. He, he passed on. Task stand still for a moment. I see. I'm so sorry. You're going to have to tell me where his body is being buried. I have someone very important to speak to as quickly as possible. Uh, I wouldn't know. I just saw the procession. And I believe it was his daughter that was telling me what was happening. And She's the one in question. Where were they going? Where'd you last see them? Where did... What direction were they going, Monty? Because that that's uh, the only thing I would know. They were heading the opposite direction to you, so they were basically heading um, towards the temple of Orthoc. <sighs> they were heading back to the temple. They were heading to the temple of Orthoc. Tass looks over to Willow. Is she ready? Uh, I can handle it. Uh, what do you need me to do? I hand her all the mushrooms. I have went over to the... Task is obviously frazzled by just hearing that, and he's just like, his, inter his fucking, you know... His train of thought changed. I have a couple of things here that are good for invisibility potions, resisting poison, and a sleep potion. I would like if you could work on that. Of course, yeah. Um, here, and she kind of grabs it. Um, and she's still sitting there. She says, yeah, I can, I can get to that as soon as possible. Thank you. And Task runs out the door. All right, you go running out. Poison resistance and sleep. Okay. Invisibility resist and poison and sleep, yeah. Which should be four invisibility, eight resist, and one sleep. Four, eight, one. I'm just trying to note down the numbers. I had it written down on a different page. Perfect. All right, you run out the door.
I don't know where the camera's being. It's it's still on the tavern. Yeah, still on the tavern. I'm I'm out. I left. So go uh, have at it, boys. Didn't want to tell him, but figured he should know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what what exactly did he pass on? God job or what? I guess old age, which is probably considerable for a dragon boy. Well, why would you pass on that? It's gonna happen no matter what. Borky, oh. he's dead. Oh my oh. God, when? Can I roll a knowledge to see how long Dragonborn live? Yeah, uh, I'd say... Knowledge nature? Actually, medicine. That'll be a medicine, medicine? check. Yeah. Talk, I love our shtick. I just want to say that. <laughs> 16. I love you too, man. I just realized I left my player's handbook in my bedroom. I will be two seconds. Talk amongst You've been yourself. flying blind I, this whole time?! Don't, wor don't, don't worry about it, Good Nadine. I know, how low, I know how old Dragonborn can oh, get. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Good. Actually... Isn't it just about the same as humans? Nope, it it's shorter. Yeah. Wow. Good. Uh, By 80, yeah? Like 80, 80, yeah. 80, 60. Oh my god, they get 86? Oh, actually, about that. actually uh, Dragonborn only really live be around 80. Huh. Makes me wonder how long he's been around. Around 80? 60? <laughs> I would have to assume. Uh, should we go after him? No, I think uh, I don't. Nah, don't. No, let's leave Tash know. to his own devices. I think this is personal for him. Besides, I... we gotta figure out how to get into the Underdark, anyways. Excuse me for a moment, gentlemen. I have someone to. Okay. You, you cut out, dude. What was that? He has someone I to talk have to. I have someone to talk to. Okay. I'll, I'll head up to my room briefly. Okay. Working. Speaking of devices, what in the talking about that light hat thing oh you're gonna find out grackles you're gonna find out when it's done i rush ordered it from eggy oh it's not gonna blow up is it oh, oh god willing no <laughs> <laughs> can we hard cut somewhere else i'm i think talk about at this point i mean i, I went into my room okay yep. go for it uh, I'm going to pull out the orb of sending. Okay. I'm going to try to contact Azra Sahar. Okay. 24 words. Let me take this out. She knows who's sending it. And I, I assume she's familiar with me. Yeah, she is. Uh, all right. <clears throat> In that case... So hyped up. <laughs> the air is thick with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something. <laughs> it's getting closer. <laughs> I look I look at I look I look into the glass, the glass is vibrating. <laughs> you look out the window, it's the fucking it's the pigeon man. Oh. Um, while you two are down here, Willow kind of turns to goes, um, um, she looks kind of sh shy a bit. How, I mean, uh, she kind of looks to Doros, and Doros just kind of looks towards you guys. So, um, hey, and she kind of swings her arm. <laughs> um, Willow, Willow. Uh, just... No, hold on, hold on. Just, just, I'm already concerned, but continue. So, since, you know, we're, um, heh, um, right. okay. Doros might stay more than usual. Okay. Oh, need a... hmm. So, if that's okay, um. Are you asking if your boyfriend can move in with us? Your fiancé, I mean. Sorry, it's gonna take some adjusting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if that's okay. I mean, like, he also has to work at the guard building well, of course and those things are there but do you need a room extension or anything like that no i mean we already got a new bed so it's fine okay okay does he know the rules in a house um Greco's looks inquisitively inquisitive <laughs> there were rules no no they're, they're happy but we haven't broken them yet crime only a safe amount and what um, constitutes a safe amount borky yeah, well, so doros's eyes really narrow at the word crime <laughs> I just, you know, 
You know the guys downstairs who got caught smuggling? Don't do that kind of crime. Okay. And the good kind of crime? It's one you don't get caught. <laughs> Doros. Right in front of a cop. No, no, here's the thing. If he can't handle this level of humor, him living here all the time is going to be exhausting. Gretkels is going to slowly inch away from Borky. <laughs> <laughs> but, notes well, something I, I, down in a little notebook and I, puts it away. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, I, me and Gretkels, uh, I have... I am not a... I know, no, 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 man. With him. Me and Gretkels, I think we both agree that, yes, we're all perfectly okay, and since... Panic this is off. Orb doesn't speak for me. Panic is off talking to someone and task went off. I think I will speak for both of them. We say, yeah, sounds good. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want to double check with everyone, that'd be fine. No, no, it's fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure they'd approve of let's, me. Let's making... ask Hasra how he feels about this. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure making big decisions is something they want me to do. Everybody step up. Can I object to this, please? No, you're overruled. No. Helga! No. Sustained. What? She has broken his legs. He can stay. What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What happened? Realistic oh. bird face. No, the, well, the incident with the prison and the collapsing and, you know, that whole thing. Oh. Right. I thought you threw him down the, the mountain or something. That's why his everything's broken. Uh, well, so, you know, stone giants. No. Never mind. Uh, send me the message, Connor. <laughs> Boy, for small talk, man. We're not good at it. <laughs> Disagree. This is hilarious. What are you talking about? This is the best goddamn conversation I've been in in a while. Oh, no, I don't. I don't disagree. But I'm saying, like in character. <laughs> oh, by the way, you won't believe it. While I was over there in Tracadia, a hag flew along the flew along the skyline, and a hag goblet just started going crazy. Now, I don't know if it was the hag, which is one of the... What's a group of hags called again? Like a, a haglet? A hag... Oh, a a haggle. Freckles. A haglet? A haglet? A whole haglet of hags. <laughs> Greckle, Greckles shrugs. That sounds like a breakfast item. So either either, either now my, my, my goblet of, of, of suplexing, the hag suplexing, Detects hags when they're in a certain vicinity, or that hag was stalking us. It flew overhead past us. I don't think it was paying attention. That's true. Also, also, was that before or after you were robbed? Or was that before right. or after you guys took the money from me? Um, as you guys are talking, uh, panic, you send out your message. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to say your message out loud? Sure. Uh... What do you know about the Undersun? Saw your shards in your sword. I'm at the Sweet Dragon Talk Lower General District. Uh, about five or six minutes pass, and you get a response. With a companion of yours, on my way to your tavern, Ragu also. Okay. I will walk back down into the uh, into the bar proper. Oh, hi, Panic. You're back. Hello. Yes. Uh, we might be expecting someone to visit soon. We are not open. No, but uh, this isn't about business. Well, it is. No. But well, who's, co who's coming over? Is it Mr. Our ba business, not our business. Okay. Can I guess who's coming down? Yes. Azra Zahar? That was a really good fucking guess. Why did... <laughs> ah, it's crazy. It's almost like you're gaming in the mind with your meta mind. Porky, did you get this bread? <laughs> good, thing that, good thing the task is out. Oh, yeah, because she, like, hates him or something? I don't know. Uh, task. Meanwhile, you make your way to the lower cleric district. Um, at this point, it's like late evening, like maybe four o'clock ish. Um, as you make your way, there is a somber feeling that surrounds you. Um, you see uh, a couple Hoketh clerics um, appear to be kind of checking some gravestones, various different ones at different temples. Um, 
some of them are just kind of talking and others are leaving flowers, cleaning up the gravestones, making sure, you know, there's no dead foliage, dead leaves on them. Um, as you make your way forward towards the uh, Orthoc Temple, you do see a new and fresh tombstone with a statue next to it. It's not a huge statue. It's it's about your size, in a way, on a plinth of uh, what looks like a youthful Tranquilla Saint, the gold dragonborn, uh, holding a book and holding a uh, what looks like some sort of staff, like a like a shorted staff. Right. Uh, and it says at the bottom of it, like in memory of Tranquilla Saint, loyal follower, devout follower of Orthoc. And you do see standing next to it is Athena. I, uh, I don't, like, sneak up next to her, but I make my presence known. I didn't know if I wanted to tell you. No, I would have been way more furious if I wasn't told. It was Grekles that told me. One of my companions that you saw in the street. The Kenku. Yes. I ran into him. I know I'm not one to... I am not one to be speaking. But... I only knew your father for a very short amount of time. But for the time that I did know him, he was a wise and a very knowledgeable person his passing is very sad and I am very sorry I don't know if you'll take this to heart but your father had actually asked of me if you desire an ally or a companion to speak to I am willing to do so I could use a friend in these darker times. That would be very nice, too. My brothers and sisters are here, though. They heard word of his passing. I understand. So I fear now my responsibility in his absence now. I am now the sole caretaker to this temple. I only hope that for the people who come here, I do them justice. In his stead. Do you feel this is a grand burden? <clears throat> Love and destiny are a burden, but one that we need. I just hope I can do right by everyone without losing who I am in the process. While I still live and breathe in Alavast, if you need any assistance, you have me. I will be at the Sweet Dragon, and I will visit as often as I can spare. I do have one request. Since you do travel more than I do. Ask away. There are metallic dragons in these lands. They stay well hidden from our city. If you ever happen upon any who seem friendly enough... Two of them... <laughs> Tash just, like, smirks and looks at her. Two work at my establishment. Those are silver dragons. They're not from Alavast. They're from, um... Elkmer? Uh, at least what Elmer was. Ah, uh, I see. One's native to here. There's a history to Orthok here, and I want to know what it is. That is why Tranquilla Saint came here. He passed that torch on to me. So, if you hear anything, if you find any relics of any sort of that nature... Um, and you're willing to part with them. I cannot offer much money, but... I, I, do not require, I do not require money. My task will most likely have me cross paths with someone who I've hunted for most of my life. Mm -hmm. And he will have a lot of things tied dragons in this land. I seek the leader of the dragon cult, and I wish to kill him. A noble purpose. More than likely, I will cross paths with metallic and chromatic dragons. Anything I find, I'll bring to you. And anything I find on the chromatics, I will arm you with. 
she lets she lifts up her hand to you. Take her hand. Gives you a really firm, like definitely a paladin handshake. It's a deal. This will be a bright friendship. I think so. She kind of looks at the grave. Thank you, Father. I don't know how to pray. But if I could do one, if you could show me one proper, I would give it to your father. You don't have to pray. Just think of him. That's all it takes. Then I will do just that. Just give you a pat on the shoulder. She walks away and she steps towards the temple. I leave her to her work and I head back to the tavern. Right. Meanwhile, at the tavern. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. Furious. Okay. Furious typing. Uh, you hear a very stern knock at the door. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Hang on, hang on. I got it. Yeah, Grickles will go and... Grickles will go and open the door. All righty. You ch uh, open the door, and you see, arms crossed, Azra Sahar... Regu waving cheerily next to her. Uh, uh, fuck, what was the... Forgot his name. Oh, God. Regu was uh, a Middle Eastern... Magu was a Middle Eastern man, correct? Regu is the human. Regu. Yeah, and then there was the... Oh, fuck, the, the three the queen. Sh I, the, the, the centipede Mug, Mug boy. Huxley. Mug boy, I for Huxley. Huxley, that was it. His name was Huxley. That's right. My brain. I thought his name was Rufus. I'm like, it's not Rufus. It's that's no. That's, <laughs> that's the president. That's, that's the president Can we make of it Rufus? No, Can we make he, it Rufus. No, Rufus. Rufus. Oh. Rufus Crumblebum owns the Romanchin. That's that's Ooh. who he is. Um, you see, uh, Huxley, Regu, Azrahar, and Remy as well <gasps> in tow. Oh, oh! Might boss go back into the call? Oh, oh it's me again. Oh my god, did you record Hi. your did you record your audio? I mean, no, but I'm here anyway. Oh, I, I'll sync it up. Oh, I, I learned I, le I look, I learned like 20 minutes ago I was gonna be here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Can you start recording? I already yeah, I'm recording. I just need to sync up with you guys. Remy, right, faith ready? is in reality. Well, let's go. One, two, three, sync. 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 One, two, three, sink. Sink. One, two, three, Remy. Sink. 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 Well, that was not a, what? There we go. <laughs> that threw me off. Oh, yeah, you can't do Remy. that. I can do that. You can't do that. Ezra, Ezra looks at y'all and goes, well, we're here. Great. Remy! You're welcome. You son of a bitch. Borky goes uh, for that. Borky, good to see you too. Ah, I'm going to crack your back right. with your hollow bird bones. <laughs> well, with all due respect, breathing is a thing. Ah. Oh, let me tell you about. Uh, let me tell you about Tracadia, Remy. It sucked. Bor Bor oh, Borky. I've heard Tracadia's a lovely place. No, who tells these people these things? <laughs> Bor Borky, Borky. Perhaps another time. We have business to tend to. Oh, right, 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 right. But Indeed Remy, we do. Azra Sahar, welcome to our fine establishment once again. Mm, yes, I remember this place. I can't help but notice you're lacking one. Abandoned you too, I see. Ooh. He what? didn't abandon us. He had matters to take care he of. He went to a funeral. Hmm. Borky makes a face. Don't you feel dumb? <laughs> <laughs> My condolences. Apparently it was uh, a higher up of the Orthodox clergy. Right? I've ended my worship of dragons. <laughs> So, you mentioned something about something about my sword. Yes. Uh, can I try to look for the gem on her sword? Is like I assume she has it on her. Yeah, it's glowing. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And I, I point it out. She pulls out the sword and gently rests it on a table. Uh, Doris and Will are at a different table, just kind of lightly talking to each other. Hey, Marky just goes to Remy real quick. Remy. Guess who's getting married? Uh, I would assume Willow and Doros. Oh, you ruined your surprise. Yeah, it's Willow and Doros. Ruined. Well, you've been gone for a while. Uh, um, it, it's good to see you. It's good to see you haven't changed. No, 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 it's impossible. <laughs> uh, 
Trust me, Borky, I am. Oh, I am well aware. It is good of you to I, dude, when I'm inside the city walls, I'm in my element. Outside, I am an element of destruction. Anyway, remember. Uh, hmm. Sorry, I guess it'll wait. Well, as Zahar looks at you, panic. Do you know what this is? The stone. Yes. She grabs the sword and lifts it up. I found it. In Ruba, I imagine. Yes. In the mines, where I went insane. It Good gave captain. me clarity. It brought me out of my madness. Huh. Brought you out of your madness. When I touched one, all it brought me was searing pain. You touched it and experienced searing pain? Well, I... Roll a strength saving throw. <laughs> Magic bullshit. <laughs> ah. 16. Oh. Okay. Okay. She grabs your hand to try and push your hand on the, the hilt of the sword. Do you resist or no? Uh, you know what? No, I don't I don't resist. Like Toph from Avatar, she grabs you and she you, your hand hits the hilt of the sword and you expect the pain. But there's no pain. Didn't let me finish. Pain? From you shoving my hand into the sword, yes, but no, not the same kind of pain. Hmm. The searing pain on the left side of my face when I tried to, you know, I pressed the digitation of some sparkles. Identify. I see. Ragu kind of goes, there's actually an interesting story about that. The sword and the stone inside, if you would like to hear a tale. Your, oh, your screech as Borky drag, drags up a bunch of, a bunch of chairs. <laughs> I don't think this is how it's going to be relevant to our next journey. Why not? It's a really short story. Azra? She rolls her eyes and she slumps into a chair like a kid... Like the goth kid dragged into band class. Borky, whis Borky whispers uh, to uh, Remy real quick. Did you rest, by the way, dude? You looked really tired after the last saunter. Yes, I did, but we should probably not interrupt story time. Well, whispering uh, is why. That this stone, you watch as Ragu holds up the sword aloft, is said to have come from a piece of Orin himself. Grekles really perks up at that. Photorealistic. Like photorealistic board. Photo Photo photorealistic board. Hey! photorealistic Greckles, but cartoon eyes shooting out of them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you see, in an old legend, it is said that Noct and Orn once clashed in battle long, long ago. And in that fight, Orin's right eye was shattered into pieces. It is said that those pieces make up the core of the material plane. And it is believed, he turns to Azra, that Azra Sahar has uncovered one such stone and placed it in this blade. A shard of the eye? He places down the sword. So the legends say. Hmm. Fantastic. Oh, well, that does seem to add up slightly. You are cutting in and out, Connor. We yeah, cannot hear you. Fucking You're really quiet. Yeah, we, yeah, we're having trouble hearing you sometimes. Whoa. Whoa. Buh? There we go. Hello. There, there we go. go. Well, that seems to add up. <clears throat> how does that? How does that add up? Slightly. I tried to cast an identification spell on the stone that I found. It's not in my possession at the moment. But, uh, When I held it and I tried to identify it, it was searing pain, like my eye had just been torn clean out of my skull. 
the entire right side of my face. <laughs> Immense. Mm. And what I did learn... That that... And he points to the, to the stone. Is a shard of the under... Uh, One more time above game. The shard of the under sun. Oh, okay. Forgive me. I don't mean to come across like a bit of a buffoon, but um, what's an under sun? That's what I would like to know. Ragu and Azra look to each other, and they look kind of quizzical and look back. Unfortunately, it does not jog my memory in any capacity. You watch as he turn back to Ragu. He's got like five scrolls out, and he's kind of like looking through each of them. <laughs> Shit, is like, it's like shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, he's like visibly sweating. Like, he's like curling. He's curling his mustache in one finger, just kind of like hey. going through these different scrolls. You, the, the, the minute you ask what the undersun is, the fucking pursuit music from Phoenix Wright starts playing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh dear God, I had one job. <laughs> also, above game. Ah, uh, Bosco's back. I'm happy. Yeah. Woo. I'm like, I'm like caressing his hair right now. Just like, yeah, I can't I wait really to. I can't wait to talk. Yes, please stop that. Can I can I, wait to can, talk I to you in game. can I look at the sword the 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 gem in the sword and see if it is indeed the same thing that I held in the underdark? Uh, you can tell it's a hundred percent like you you when you saw the stone that Avery Man had, it immediately clicked. You're like that is the exact same, exact same light, slightly see through. Uh, is can I tell like a size difference or anything? Uh, hers is slightly bigger and has definitely been refined. So it's obviously been made to fit inside of the sword. Hmm. Looks like this was tailor-made to fit inside of the sword as well. By hmm. the new Sultan of the Sands. And My old blade was not that impressive. And you said it brought you out of madness. It did. Interesting. It gave me the strength and the will to break free my brothers and sisters of the chains. Can I do a quick... Hmm. Actually, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Uh, the sword is just using evocation magic. Hmm. The, the and... sword or the gem? Both. So the sword and the gem are, are actually with two. Uh, divine magic, which is kind of hard to identify, but I'll give it to you because obviously this has a divine property to it. It's a, it's a holy weapon. Um, and definitely evocation magic. Huh. Blade itself seems to have some sort of divine presence. Good. Gem is evocation. Fire, yes. At my will, the blade can erupt into righteous flames. Ooh, settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I was Pan trying not to laugh. Uh, <laughs> panic. A, a thought occurs, Panic. All of these people were called by Solar either direct, either there's some kind of direct relation with either this gem or, or some physical item of Orin, or an associate. Do you th think there's a connection? I can't say for sure. The only thing I do know for sure, at least based on what my informant told me, is that that gem comes from the Underdark. It would make sense. That's where I found it, in truth. Under sun. That is not familiar to me, that word. And maybe a... How could a sun be underground? Well, it's like... It's like the underdark. It's like the reverse of it. You can't have dark without light, so maybe it's the light to create... Uh, oh, oh, what? Um, oh. There's, a recur there's now a recursion symbol on Borky's arm right now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> what, 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 what color overall is the gem on her blade? Uh, it is like a very, um, actually, I have to take a look at the art. I think it's like a faded blue. Uh, let me see here. Where are you? Uh, it looks like it's a bluish 
Well, blue, like, blue. But, with yeah, like it's eye. kind of. It should be like a light blue. Well, hold yep. up. it's almost in the shape of an eye. Is what it looks like. I or like, there's, yeah. like, there's like a light blue slit, and then it's glowing out. Yeah. Mm. Hey, uh, quick thing. I'm thinking right now. Remember when we, we was was doing that one mission where we had to kill all the spiders, and then we went to that one temple. Sony was with us, and the, but the oh, orange yeah. temple was like yeah. under the ground. Just Remy, yeah. you pick up on that. Yep, I do. Uh, y yes, I, that's actually just where I was. Well, what? you should mention that. Oh, you were yeah. there. You were there. Uh, yeah. We had we I had to mean, bounce hmm. because some Borky's trying to figure out what to say. Odd magic got came into play, so we had to skedaddle pretty quick. Well, I can assure you there was no odd magic that I could sense. Um, orcs there, however. Please don't spread that around. What? These orcs. Yes, there was a... It, they seemed like a tribe of them, but yes, Volo and I encountered them. I don't know how they saw us. I thought we were being quite sneaky. But... Well, Volo's pretty oh. big. Uh, yes, but he's discreet. Yeah, but he's really odd. Con considering the last time we were there, the whole place was covered in web. Mm. Well, well, we did clear it, we did clear it out. I know we cleared out the source of the yeah. evil, but... I know, Gripples, Gripples did that, actually. I actually was curious. Were there a lot of trees around the temple when you were last there? There were, just covered in web and yeah. spiders. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't remember any spider webs, but all of those trees seem to have been trimmed for some reason. Hmm. I don't know if there's a correlation with the orcs, but it would make sense. I don't know who else would be trimming did the you, trees. Did you go into oh, yeah. the underground temple? I, I will say this. You would have seen the entrance to the temple, Remy, in your okay. reconnaissance. They were going in and out of it. They are going in and out of that entrance. Mm. Mm. What, direction mm. Sorry, what, is that what direction is that away from Alabast? West. Uh, that's mm. west. Yeah, to the Nocturnal Timberlands, oh. which is beyond the um, beyond sounds, Winter's Folly. Yeah, that sounds vaguely underdarky. Hold on, that might be the Double Tusk a tribe. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. By chance, neither of you would happen to know an entrance to the Underdark. In or near Alabast, would you? Azrid and Ragu both look at you like, We have not left this city since we arrived. My duty is to be at Saliandris' side, and at Saliandris' side, I will remain. Just ask. No, you could have said no. <laughs> this is a very personal matter for me, so I figured I'd I figured I'd. Exhaust all my options. I honestly think that temple is the way to the underdog. It just makes sense. There was all those. What do we call them again? It's like spider, but it starts with a D. Drider. Ah, yes. Driders. Drider. There, was, there were driders there. There was a bunch of them. I mean, we went, we went to town. We chopped those driders to pieces, and then some magic activated, and we had to leave before we could even check out the place. That's not, what, that's not what we encountered, yeah, though, was it? Yeah, of, of creatures, uh, but the body of a spider. No, that actually wasn't what we fought. Oh, we fought, like... You, guys, you fought edder caps, I think. Yeah, we oh, fought edder caps. I thought there were driders. I'm so sorry. No. Driders are a lot scary. Yeah, yeah they're just... terrifying. A drider would have killed... Would, would oh. TPK us. Here's hoping Borky doesn't <laughs> find a female drider that falls in love with him. That would be the yeah, worst. You guys, no. you guys fought a drider. Or not drider, so you fought an edder caps. Yeah, we know there are edder caps in, in that place. Edder cap. Okay. But it's but it's still spider related if that matters, Panic. I don't know. Are edder caps under dark related things? Knowledge? Uh, yeah. Knowledge. Arcana, I guess. I think there are monstrosity. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Twelve. Twelve. Um, um, you would know with that role um, that generally Edder Caps are like the enemies of Fae. So forests make a lot more sense for them. But, hmm. Hmm. From what I know, other camps are sort of natural enemies of fake creatures. Hmm. 
couldn't say for sure if they were underdark related or not. I don't remember. Did we find anything underdark or spider related aside from them? Or did they just move in and set up shop? Anyone? Uh -huh. I'm thinking, Mon I'm thinking. Monty, could could I could I make an intelligence check to try and remember any of that? Sure, go ahead. Ah, uh, it's a seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, that nat twenty on the other side. <laughs> when you think back to it, your mind you just remember fighting the other caps, so the intensity of the battle and then the orb and then running out. And as you're kind of thinking through and thinking through, you remember that there was a carving behind that orb that you guys never looked at. To so any I, depth. So, so I there know was, there's more there to investigate, but you don't know what's there based okay. on your memories. There, there was, before we had to leave, there was something. But we had to leave so quickly, it just, maybe it is worth setting out again and having another look over, especially if there's no evil presence there. The thing is, there's orcs there now, and if we're wrong, we're wasting time. Well, luckily, you know an orc who will try his best to make friends. And you've done a good job of that so far. Thank you. Well, one for one so far. Let's not get over, get ahead of ourselves, you crackles. Just take the compliment. <sighs> orc, he just well, kind of pets outside of his face for a second, and that's it. Well, I mean, panic until we hear back from Hasrod, was Remy, did you see anything else of, of note? At the temple, you mean? Yes. Mm. Let me I... help. Let me see if I can jog your memory. There was a, a, a bowl or something like that with a carving behind it, but we, we couldn't see it before we had to leave. You're talking about inside the temple. Right. I stayed mostly on the perimeter. I was supposed to not be seen. That's okay. That's fair. But you know the layout of the orc cap surrounding it, right? I saw them entering and leaving said temple. I believe they probably have an encampment inside, but I was not instructed to go in and engage. They came out and found me. Hmm. The orcs. What did they look like? That's a Monty question. Uh, big? Cool! Um... Neat. <laughs> Very, like, you've, I mean, you met Borky, you've met other orcs. More mm -hmm. brutish, like, more pig-like in a way. Uh, um, so would, would I have been able, because I was there when we talked about the four different orc groups, would I have been able to tie what I saw to any of those four groups based on the description? This is definitely the double tusk. You do notice okay. that some of them did have two sets of tusks. Okay. Some had really bristly hairs, too, like, just manes of hair. Like, they looked very... Yeah, very bestial in nature, like beast orcs in a way. Got it. I mean, no disrespect when I say this to Borky or any other orc, but compared to the average orc that I have seen, they were quite large and more brutish than you would expect. I believe... You, you would not believe the amount of orcs would take that as a compliment. Right. I... Sure. Agreed. What I mean to say is, I okay. believe... chimes in. <laughs> what did Helga say? Agreed. <clears throat> We're in the same well, like you know it's true. Uh, that being said, um, I would. Mm, that being said, I, I wasn't able to peg them to any particular group, and I'm going to give all four of the uh, the three unexpectables there a very stern look. Indicate anybody can roll if they want to know what that means. A stern look okay. from. Brent. That big old thirteen. 23. Okay, I'm gonna, let me roll my insight. Yeah, buddy. Where Do is it. it? Come on! Go! Oh! Okay. Uh, Panic, you would know that he's insinuating that it's probably one of the four groups of orcs that we're supposed to contact. He's just not able to say which because he doesn't know if Azra, Azra should know. Yeah. Or anybody mm, else. Okay. So nudge you pick that up. I, I nudge Borky a little bit. Maybe we can knock out two birds with one stone. That's true, but where can we get the stone and can we keep Remy for long enough? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm just joking. I think it might be worth looking into. My fear is that wrong about this and doesn't lead us anywhere towards the Underdark. 
this has been a massive waste of time. Above May I? Oh, Sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, above game, how long did it take us to get there? Maybe like two days, I think. Two or that's, three not, days? that's not bad. But um, you guys went through Ginter's Folly. That's true. Oof. You that should try it, move. Remy. It's just one pass through. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> I'll let Remy know. Make a situation um, awkward. Did I get back there at any time? <laughs> <laughs> You've been gone for a bit. It takes a while. That, 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 no, that, that, this that's is how fair. you end the episode with just a stare between you two, man. Just like... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Let's sneak out the back door da, real quick. Da, 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 da. So, if you don't mind my asking, why the need to go to the Underdark with such haste? Well, first of all, one of Solly's visions might lead us to another one of her... Companions, I think. Yes, the last one, as was Sahar chimed in. How do you know it's the last one? Because it's the last visions that she's receiving. Oh. Oh. Has she been having all of these visions in sequence? It seems to be, at least from what I can understand. At the and... beginning, it was all of us. Then as I arrived, it was soon Requarion's went away first, and then mine. And now that the drunk is here, his is now gone. Yeah, <laughs> she met him. <laughs> mm -hmm. And secondly, the uh, person in question was chasing someone that is likely to be my mother. Uh, oh. Um, right, no, I, I completely understand. Um, Which is why you understand that I need to get there as soon as possible. As soon as possible, yes. No, I completely understand. Unfortunately, I am as ignorant of the Underdark as most. Yeah, it is not a place I would be welcomed with open arms. Remy, I don't know if you would have permission to do this, but could you get us out there at some kind of expedient pace? I... I... Unfortunately, don't have as much pull as I used to under review and all. But you do have that Griffin Rider friend of yours. Uh, yes, yes, I do. Are you implying what I think you're implying, Lady Sahar? <laughs> if you have resources, utilize them. Right. Well, I can call in a favor if you need it to maybe find you where you need to go. Panic, it would that, cut the time, man. That uh, seems like a fair deal. Thank you. Of course, it's the least I can do. Is, well, uh, I need to return to Soliandris if our business here is concluded. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the information. No worries. And she looks over and Raku's getting like a, like a, like a tanker and she goes, Raku! You take that on the road, and she steps out of the building. Remy, so you be flying around doing scouting and stuff for the city while we've been gone? Uh, solo, yes. I was not on a joint mission. But yes, I have been doing reconnaissance. I don't know if I'm at liberty to say much more, and I trust the three of you to keep this very, very hush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friend don't NDA. I got you. But it's just... We went over to Cadia, and let's just say we uh, we met someone, and I want you to know he was great, but uh, he had to go on his own separate route, but just know the whole time I was thinking of you. I appreciate that, I think. Yes, that, I think you're complimenting me. <sighs> just just take it in stride, Remy. Can I right. get you a drink, by the way? Uh, yes, I would love a drink. You all uh, we'll... ask. You're making your way back. Uh, you begin to walk, and as you do, you do cross paths with Azra Sahar, Regu, and Huxley. You guys pass by, and she doesn't even look your way. Nice to see you, too. You watch as you look back to her, you see her lean back, just the glint of her eye. She kind of turns her face away and keeps striding forward. I stop and turn around. All right, I've had enough. What's your problem with me? I've already told you. Yeah. And I've already told you, but now I want to fucking clear something. Uh, 
I'm waiting on her response. She just looks at you. For what my clan may have... Well, what harm my clan may have caused you, that was not of my doing. And I don't know what gives you the idea that your fucking self-righteousness and your thoughts... And yes, I understand your plight is horrible. Mine is too. All of my people are gone. But I'm not your enemy. Apparently we're supposed to be working together. That's what Sully would have wanted. Ragu. He steps back. I don't think someone like you deserves the truth. Oh, no, of course not. Someone like me who's trying to do something a little bit bigger than himself. Someone who's trying to at once had something that was selfish and wanting to redeem, redeem someone or redeem an entire race of people. Something that we have in common. Something that involves all dragon-like creatures in this entire fucking possibly beyond the country, the world. There's a little bit more at stake here than our petty squabbling, so I want to get our squabbling out the way now. Very well. She takes off her gauntlet and she throws it to the ground. Oh, oh no. Jeez. Task relieves his bow. Takes off his helmet. Looks over to Huxley. Guard that, will you? Uh, sure. Get the venom out now, old lady. Oh, no. She pulls out the shield to their side. Roll for initiative. Oh, shit. I wanted this. Hell yeah. Kick her ass, Task! <laughs> oh, yeah, man. kick Kick her ass, Task. Uh, fifty. Uh, for I'm oh, I'm, I'm sure. Fifty on Lady Zahar. <laughs> yeah. I am sure I am getting my ass kicked uh, here. Nine hey, thousand. Go hey. Nine thousand gold on Azur Zahar. Task, this is no. This is no stupider than Remy dealing dueling with dragons. So you're good. Like you're only second stupid in this equation. There she is. I was trying to find her character sheet. I'm like, please, for the love of God, I spent so much time working on it. <laughs> The Control weird. F, level 20. Also, oh, I just showed up again. Why do we got to start dueling, like, right off the bat, guys? See, we're we're going to have a conversation. Uh, I the am, I am going to need my core rule book. I will be right back. One we're second. Here's, here's, here's one of them. Why? Here's one of Roll to hit him. All right, you hit. If this episode doesn't end with Task being thrown through the front window of our play, of the of the actual tavern. Also, hi, guys. I'm back, I guess. <laughs> Bosco, Bosco, it is lovely to I want. Oh my god, character well, okay. that didn't get to happen. You, you could not have cut out more. I'm sorry, I totally didn't hear that. Ah, uh, give me a second. We'll get a server, guys. Uh, we'll get a server. Okay. Alright. Alright, I was gonna I was just saying, it was it's lovely to see you. I wanted to have a conversation in character. It just didn't happen. It's totally fine. It wasn't the time. <laughs> <laughs> we're never gonna have our talk. No, we're not! Borky, and we need not. to have it! Borky I is, said, uh, Borky well, is hey, friends. At least I didn't say we'll speak upon our uh, upon my return or I would have died. Don't worry, I'll tell you that top Hello. secret thing about my hidden past right when I get back. Yes. Uh, I, we will speak about my hidden past upon my return. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right. So you rolled. I rolled a seven. I'm also, for rolls. everybody who's That's saying that much. I planned this, I did not. I was told now 50 minutes ago I was going to be here. I wasn't and we're happy to have you. Aww. Is that because she con Is that because uh, Panic contacted Azra Sahar? No. Well, yeah, actually, that was just the perfect way for me. She's like, are you around? <laughs> are you here? Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, I'm here. And then, <laughs> so there you go. So good job, Panic. You got me Bosco. back. Bosco! Hey. Bosco. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. What is... Can you send me your thank yous? No. Nah. Where can they find you, Bosco? Oh, can... shit. She's got extra things. Sorry. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I was well, really expecting we'll, Kurt, this. Kurt, we'll do that at the end. She's got I'm, how many extra I'm, attacks? I'm not attacking her with a weapon, by the way, so... Yeah, you are with your bow, I thought. No, I put it to the side. I, you, I... You, you're gonna fist fight her? Oh. I really hope you got a sword or something. Yeah, yeah, it's, got, it's, to... got, it's got to be the first fight that Yusuke had in the Dark Tournament arc of Yu Yu Hakusho. Put a knife behind your foot and you start fist fighting. <sighs> Fucking right, she, weeb. She hey. does beat out a seven. 
Of course he does. Alrighty, I'm gonna grab some pipe music. <laughs> because Yay. her initiative is plus seven. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Also, Luke Lau with the 4,000 bits. While my money would be on Azra Sahar for this fight, I want to commend Zito on his fantastic RP this episode. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right. Let me summon catch for Oh, hands. man. Here we go. Catch these hands. She's going to start. Uh, she runs right up to you. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> I see what you're doing. Uh, and she immediately feigns an attack, which gives her advantage on this first attack. Which is great, because that's a 17 to hit you. My one. Yeah, she rolled a natural one and a 10, so. <laughs> Alrighty. Oof. 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 God damn, she just has advantage, yikes. Well, no, she feigned an attack, that's why it... You take advantage. 14 points ah. of slashing damage, plus 5 points, so that's 19 points of slashing damage. And she's going to take her second attack. One of her points down. Oh, fuck, she's a battle master. Yep, I was just going to say battle master. Battle that's a 19 master. to hit you. Hmm. Uh, that's going to be... 13 points of slashing damage with the sword again. Uh, and she backs up, but you get an attack of opportunity. Ah, okay. Swing, bada 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 bada, swing. 19. Doesn't Ooh. hit. She brings up the shield right before you can get a swing off. Sparks erupt in the city streets. Now people are walking out of their homes and now watching this duel in the city. Uh, it is now your turn. I put Hunter's Mark on her. Okay. Oh, wait, shit. I didn't mean to do that. No worries. All right, pass Hunter's Mark. And... And not gonna do much, but... Actually, no. I'm gonna go for the Roper Whip instead. Okay. Ah, uh, God! The fuck, she roll 20. That's a melee weapon, correct? Uh, yeah, it's a melee weapon with reach. Okay. Uh... Okay, no, she can't do that. All right, you go to whip, and it wraps around her sword, and she, like, yanks you, and you kind of are in this tug-of-war now with the with the roper whip. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna try again, I guess. Okay. Did I? Yeah, I did roll the roper whip. There we go. That 25. Hits. Yeah, there you go. Four. So that's nine. Nine points. Yep. Nine and Hunter's Mark. Two. Two. Okay. I'm not really trying to, like, attack her. I'm just trying to, like, send a message. Her. No, no, no. Yeah. You, do, you do drag her ten feet close. Oh, actually, no, you have to roll a strength check. So roll a strength check opposing the athletics checks. Uh huh. Go. 15. Ooh. No. Oh, that's she... a save. That's a save. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Check, check. Oh, yeah, fuck me. No. Five. She, she stands her ground. She definitely has the strength to hold her own. Uh, it is now her turn. Did she get slashed across the face or something? Uh, she get she got wrapped around and she got hit in the gut and he, she was yanked and pulled. Ah. She knocked the wind out of her for certain. Yeah, she's gonna charge you again. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna go for another feigning attack. So it's gonna give her advantage on her first strike. Another superiority die. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a 22 to hit you. Fuck, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be 12 plus. Two, so 14 points of damage. Okay. And she's gonna go for a second attack. Uh, oh, natural 20. 
All right, well, just go ahead and, as you would tell any of your players, how do you fucking want to end this? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus, how do you want to do this? You know, you should have I, have, I have 19 points, but I'm more than certain she'll probably just fucking eat it. 19 points of damage, slashing damage to you. No, so I'm, I'm down to zero. You're down to zero? Uh, she full on charges you, hits you over the face with the blunt of the bait, and headbutts you into the ground. You, your vision goes white, and you crash down unconscious onto the dirt below. She swings, and she sheathes the blade, and she turns to her companion, and says nothing, and walks away. But you are unconscious, so you do not see this. Cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Sweet Dragon... Dude, good scene, Zito. Like, real talk. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Shitty rolls. Good scene, though. That's all right. You were never going to beat her. It was all about the RP. That yeah, was it was good. all about role playing. Four, four. She's just. And, I, and I'm sure the fucking bug now has my bow, so that's good, too. <laughs> probably left your bow beside. Probably just walked up, set he the bow on, on you. You set, your, set the bow down on your back and left. <laughs> Task has been gone for a while now. Uh, well, well, he's yeah, got. Oh, oh, well, he went to a funeral. We got to give him time. He's probably all tired from that, anyways. <laughs> Task just lying on the floor, on, the, on, the, on just the middle we of the road. We didn't, by chance, we didn't by chance hear any of that commotion, did we? No, this is like way far away. Huh. Do you think we should go look for him, or do you think he's got it? Well, uh, well tell you what, right. me, go to a funeral. me and Panic are going to sit here and talk about strategies for going to the Underdark. Why don't you and Remy head down there and go check it out? Birds could flutter around and find the wonderful kobold. I am leaving the barbarian in charge of strategy. No, you're hey. going to leave the tiefling in charge, and he's going to watch the barbarian. Good. I, yeah. you guys, well, why, are, guys, why are you not guys, here more often, guys, Remy? Guys, guys, it's rude to talk about someone when they're in the same room with you. I agree. Uh, Remy, let's, well, let's, go, <laughs> let's go outside. I, actually, Bucky, it's more rude to talk about them when they're not in the room. Oh. Anyway, I'm going. Goodbye. Very that Remy guy, right? <laughs> right, Patty. Good, good oh, talk. Uh, Remy. Uh, y who? Yes. Willow. It's Willow. Ah, uh, uh, Willow. Hi. Hi. Hello. It's um, good to see you. Yeah. I, did you hear the news? Uh, I did hear the news. A wonderful oh. news indeed. Thank you. You are happily invited. If we plan anything. So. I. It would be my honor. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll let you go though. Nice seeing uh, you, though. Yes, we're missing a uh, task. Mm, yeah, no. Mm hmm. All right. Grackle, shall we? Indeed, we shall. <sighs> Happy Panic, hunting. I, Panic, I leave it up to you, buddy. Uh huh. All right. Uh, Grackles and Remy, since you are searching for someone, I want you to make a survival checks. Hey, I'm a roll at those. Uh, yeah, you and me both. Uh, oh, no, wait, I am proficient. Never mind. Ah, 22. Nice. 18. And another nat 20 on the other end. Uh. You make your way forward down the city streets, and you're able to easily track down Azra Sahar's footsteps, and then you get to a clearing in the road, and you see definitely telltale sale signs of a, of a fight. Okay. Um, is there a crowd of people, or is it just... No. No? Okay, I'm gonna investigate where said fight might have taken yeah. place. If I can oh, you're standing marks. in it. You're, like, you're standing and you're looking. And as you're looking, you see a set of footprints in the mud that indicate two things to you. Specifically you, Remy, because you have experience mm -hmm. with this. Two wings have hit the ground here in the time that has passed with two very large feet. It looks like something landed from the sky, grabbed something, and flew off. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh, no. Um, can I, can, I oh! tell by the size, can I tell by the size of the prince how big said creature was? Um, I'm gonna say roll another survival check for me. Okay, it's gonna be a 16. Okay, that's, that's good. Let me just double check here. I swear to God, if it puts him in a nest and starts singing magical songs about why he likes doing that, this is exactly the hell task didn't ask for. Whatever it was is a large thing. Okay. 
And as you look closer, it has four arms. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Um, and you're Dracos able to ascertain that whoever was lying down here was taken by this thing very quickly. Greckles? Yeah. We need to find Lady Sahar. She may know what happened here, but whatever was here is gone, and something very large and very not human took it. I hate to ask this, but would it be faster if you just went there immediately and I can go back to the rest of the group? Sure, we can do that. And we can reconvene later. Oh, jeez. I really hope that wasn't him. Remy's going to start moving towards the direction that Azra went and let Greckles go back and tell the group. Yep. Okay. Task. Yep. Your head is swimming, sore and painful. Uh, that's what I get for being honorable and not using my boat. You roll over and you thud, 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 fall down a set of stairs on the ground. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh. You rub your eyes and you look up and you see this visage of a lion staring down at you with massive jaws and teeth. Oh. Good. <laughs> but it's made of stone. It's the statue. Okay, can I sit up? Yeah, you sit up. How about you're I have like, like one HP? A, yeah, you have one HP. I'm gonna, okay, before I like look around or anything, I'm gonna like, bait, like put my hands to my face and cast Cure Wound. Okay. At second level? <laughs> like rev up that heal. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how Cure Wound works at second level. Shit, because I never used it that way. It rolls, it rolls an additional die, essentially. Okay, so I'll just roll this twice then. Yeah. So that would be four... Nine. So I have ten that's, HP. That's two plus three, so that's five plus two, that's seven. Seven? All right. Yeah. All right, I have eight HP. <sighs> okay. Well, at least I... Feel my fucking snout back in place. Where am I? You okay? You hear a voice call around you. Pass looks over at the voice. You don't see anything there. It's like encompassing the room. Do I have any of my stuff on me? You do. You have all your stuff, including your bow. Okay, cool. Who's there? You took a nasty little spill there in the middle of town. It was a beating, yes. I figured it was coming, but it was justified nonetheless. You got hurt real bad. Nothing's worse than what would happen to me before that. You own that tavern there in town. Tass stands up. You swear you see a shadow move. I'd like to see who I'm talking to before I move on with this. Seeing comes next. Besides, you're a guest in my house. I'll make the rules. And why was I taken to this house? Ah, oh, what, what the fuck is happening there? Connor's oh, microphone. That is what is happening. Ah, beans! I have shouted it away. Sorry about that. So good. <sighs> no seeing. Not yet. I brought you here to be healed. You're welcome, by the way, and you spilt your tea. Uh, well, to be fair, when one's beaten to a pulp, when they wake up, they don't know what their surroundings are. Especially when they're whisked away, by the way. So, thanks for the... It looks Tass looks at himself, like, how fucked up of a shape is he in? So, for the sake of this, Azra Zahar did not use the actual blade. She, Well, she did a little bit. So you got some cuts, definitely shoulder, definitely on the face. Mm. Um, the finishing blow was just a hard smack against the head with the blunt of the sword, which hurt really bad. Okay. And the headbutt, too. That kind of was the kind of coup de grace. I'm going to assume we're still in our... We're, well, I don't know where my surroundings are, so I assume we're still in the lower crafting district. You've been away, y'all. You've really been out that long. The basement. The one deep in your tavern. It was there still. 
They all gone? What was taken? Who was left? I don't know. I only asked... We only knew about the thing that was below us. And what does that matter to you? There was a man there. A creature there. He was gonna heal me. Make me whole again. Make me who I was. But now he's gone. And I wanna know where. Well, the only thing I can tell you... For now, anyway, the only thing I can tell you is that we had a bunch of foot. We had a bunch of creatures. Uh, we don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I let me restart my phrasing. So, my like, brain's a bit scrambled. You might have a mild case of serious brain damage. Man, outside of the game, Monty, please. My favorite. It's my my favorite line. One of my favorite lines from something. Sorry. Uh, the only thing we saw down there, or at least last I went down there, was there was a face that asked me to for the password. And then the last time I came back after a small uh, small trip in Dracadia, we ended up uh, watching a bunch of the guards haul away some kind of creature that ate magic. No, we have that thing. Found that in the woods. Easy to sniff out magic, that. That's how they found me. So you're saying you actually brought stuff in there? I worked for him, yeah. Made a deal. Said if I earned him enough money, he'd turn me back into a human again. And you watch now as one of the statues next to you moves and shifts, and you stare up at a four-armed gargoyle, which now stares right back at you with glowing yellow eyes. Dun-dun. My name's Frank. Pleasure to meet you. Does he actually hold his hand out? No, he's just looking at you. He's, like, kind of crouched. Yeah. He's very big. Like, he is about ten feet tall. Hmm. Well, Tass like looks up, looks him up and down. He's not like threatening in any way, is he? Roll an insight check. Yeah, like this next response will debate on the insight. Oh my fucking oh, god! Oh, I hit, what the what oh. the fuck is going on with roll twenty with me for the past month? Jesus Christ! This is fucking stupid. I'm actually mad now. There's five of him suddenly. You kind of your brain swims. You mm. can't really get a good glance at his face. Well, you're not ripping me to shreds at the first sign of me. So that's a good sign. No, based on what I know, you're just trying to get rid of some pests in the basement. Well, you have to forgive me. The last, the first thing we saw down there was a bunch of ghosts from that ma major illusion spell. <laughs> yeah, Skulk stoked that one. It was really good of her. She was smart, you know, smart kid. Shame now, she'll probably never see her mom again. Not that you would know that. You weren't even involved. I'm gonna assume you're one of the smugglers then. Was. And then this happened to you? No, this happened well before. You ever hear of a man called Dolmar? <laughs> Heard passings of him, yes. He turned me into this thing. I was what? shipping him crystals or something. I was an idiot, decided to touch one. Next thing I know, I wake up and I'm this. And he kind of extends his wings out in all four of his arms. Will it bring you peace to know that we were the ones who actually fell him? Bring me peace to know I'm still a giant stone thing. Peace to know. He mm. was a madman, doesn't know to revert his own thing that he did to himself, I'm sure. If you're, an ex if you're an experiment, then, why not go into town and ask someone to assist you with that? Well, let me just walk up to the right up apothecary. They think I'm a criminal. I mean, I am. You know, hope for a dog like me. Smuggler first, monster and smuggler again. So how about this? I saved your life. Right? I think we can agree on that. Did you save my life, or did you just whisk me away to some hideout? You were dying. You were bleeding out. Gurgling mud. Great. Show honor. I show honor to her, and she tries to kill me. Man, I don't know. I'm no doctor. I'm a gargoyle. Kind of pounds his chest. <laughs> so at least I got you stuffed. Kept your stuff from getting nicked. That's fair enough. I mean, if there's... 
for a small uh, for a favor such as that, at least I could assist you with trying to, or at least try to make your story public to not the smuggling bit. No, no public anything. I just want to move on. Well, yes, you can move on, but why not move on after this entire this? He like waves his arms at him. Gets fixed. Can't get fixed, kid. It's too late now. What have you tried? I walked into it in the libraries, and I closed it, and I, I sneak in and pretend to be a statue. I read Man, the books. It's... And once my soul's plucked from a body, can't go back in again unless the body's the same. My body's been well off tossed to sea. Long gone. So I'm this forever. The demon promised it could fix it, but demon's gone now. So... That's just to accept things the way they are, I guess. If your soul was moved, could you not move it to elsewhere? Not anymore, no. It's made and wait for this, so it's what it's in. So if you're so. If there's no way to cure you, then what could I possibly do for you? I want a job, a good one, a proper one. You wish to have a second chance. Yeah. A proper job. And I notice with your tavern, you know, I watch it sometimes. Part of my old job. You know, all kinds of folk going in and out. Other things made a not flesh. You have like a temple there too. Kind of caught my eye. Is that so wrong? Not at all. With the man, uh, he looks over at, uh, he, he looks him over. With someone of your make, you actually might be, uh, you you might be in the position of taking up a job we are looking for. <laughs> well, gods be blessed. Your name? Task. Frank again. Um. Frank, how are your experiences at being uh, at uh, being active at night? Task just smiles at him. That's all I can do now. You'll be perfect. Yeah. By the way, uh, he kind of opens up this window. You realize now you're in, like, a archer's, like, tower. It appears to have been cut off. And he opens up this wooden window and just air rushes in. Uh, you are currently probably at the highest point you can possibly be besides the attic in Alabas at the moment. And it's a bit of a fall down. I can drop you off how at your place if you like. How did people utilize this? They didn't. It must have been temporary. The stairs have been broken down for a while. Looks like they decided to move it elsewhere. It's just for now, it seems to keep the chains and hold, I guess. That kind of makes a weird assumption that this place was predated before people started moving in. Now, this is the old foundations. Huh. Huh, indeed. <laughs> Alright, come on. And grab your tea, too. The sun left. Tash just chugs it. It's just water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, good. It just gurgles, like, that is, it doesn't even gurgle, it, like, swashes it in his mouth and just, like, swallows it. Ah, tastes like my blood. Yeah, it tastes really coppery. <laughs> uh, let's go. He, he just grabs you. Like, his whole hand engulfs your torso. Like, he's Wait, huge. <laughs> Wait, could you do this a little bit better? I'm actually afraid of burning. No, oh, it takes off flying. Ah! <laughs> Silence! You're gonna alert all the guards. He's like flying aloft. <laughs> this is my greatest nightmare. You have. Yeah, no he takes his second hand and just covers your face. This is my greatest nightmare. Oh no, he's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of drops. There's a lot of low pressure system. Ah! I, yeah. I can. I can. Whereas I can. The griffins and like the flying birds stay at a relatively normal vertical pace. He, like, swoops and dives. Like, he drops and then keeps aloft and kind of, like, you know, like, Rip Ripley from Smash Brothers with like, the buffet of the wings? That's yeah, how he yeah. flies. Nice. He basically Did... just falls and then stops himself and then continues to fall. Did we just hire a four-armed Goliath? Because all I can hear is the Gargoyles theme in my head right oh, now. Yeah. Uh, I want you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Oh. oh my god. Thank <laughs> god, a 19. 
you 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 feel like you're gonna barf just from just the sheer like it is not a gentle ride. This is not a good time. Um, as you look and you are currently on top of Ben's blacksmith shop at the moment. Tash just like kind of like wobbles a little bit and then sits down on the roof. Well, if you're gonna be our Ugh, excuse me, if you're gonna be our new night guard, you may as well make yourself known to the tavern. Uh, let's do baby steps, huh? And when is that baby step gonna take place? If someone tries to break into your place. Hmm. I think that temple could use a statue on the side. What do you think? That could possibly work. I think it looks uh, right well for a perch. Yeah, just uh, find the snake in the shed. He's a good guy, but uh, he'll be mulling about. Might be a good proper place for you to give him a little spook now and then. Uh, with your permission, boss. Don't All lean right. on him. Don't lean on him too hard. He's a good guy. <laughs> I'll try my best. In terms of payment, we'll discuss later. I don't. The <laughs> Tasha like looks at him. Well. I don't have any souls, and I promise not to. And I'm not a magic person, so the most like uh, we could talk pay, or we could talk anything else that you feel that is within my realm of expertise. Anyway, I might talk to the little guy inside the temple, make a friend. Maybe that's what I need right now. It's just better friends. You know what? He's actually the best kind of person to be speaking to right now. All right, give him a chance. Take care, boss. He just drops you off the roof. It's not a very tall roof, so you don't have to make any save, but yeah. it's just not very gentle. And you watch as he flies over, and you can see with your dark vision, he lands next to the temple, curls his arms inwards, and he looks just like a statue. You can't even tell. Well, that solved one problem. Task tries to find a way down. Hobbles back into the tavern. Uh, Greckles, at this point, you've made your way back, too, as you watch Task opening the front door. Okay, Task, uh. what? Where the hell have you been? Getting acquainted with Azra Zahar. Did you kidnap you? Oh, you, you fought her, didn't you? Mm. We... Remy and I went looking for you. We, we saw tracks, something... Something flying, possibly. What happened, Task? I got us a night guard. I'm going to bed. Night, Task. <laughs> Task just falls like face first on the stairwell. Doros walks over and just picks you up gently. <laughs> just kind of pets you and walks upstairs <laughs> with you. <laughs> you're just like a rag. You're like your your limbs are sagging over the crook of his arm. Is your it's like it's like Drax petting Rocket. <laughs> All right. And as the night comes in, and the Underdark's quest ahead of you, that is where we'll end the session for tonight. Whoa. 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 <laughs> bye, All right, bye, Austin. Hasta la vida, San Austin. Oh, oh my goodness. We learned a lot. Wow. Yeah. This episode. 80, Fun 80, episode. 89. 89? 89. 89. 89. Uh, 11 one weeks away. Oh, one more episode and we'll be 10 episodes away from the big 100. 100th episode. We'll be old. Old man, look at my life. All right, so I heard a pitch for an episode name. I don't mean to jump ahead here, the gun. But someone said two funerals and a wedding. I like that, actually. It was the second funeral, though. Task. Task. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. It's not a it's, it's not a Dothraki wedding if there aren't at least two murders. You should see their funerals. <laughs> wow. Oh, Luke, a lot. Thank you for the three thousand bits. A bit late, but a bit late. But congratulations on Willow and Doros. Uh -huh. Three thousand bits. Congrats. All righty. Hey, Bosco. Thanks for jumping in, dude. Oh, where can they yeah. find you? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Twitter and Instagram, and they can also find me right here at just Edward Bosco. My name. It's really super easy on the Twitch.tv thing. 
Uh, been doing a lot of character creation for Kurt's wrestling thing. I apologize to Monty. She's lost all of her friends to wrestling. It I happens know. for the best of us. It's fine. I've lost everyone. I Not know. me. Uh, I still resist. It's true. You do still resist for now. That's fine. But I got you onto Warhammer. It's kind of already the corruption's already there. Yeah, it's over for you. Uh, but yeah, and then you can also find me on Kurt streams when he does his wrestling stuff, being a lot more obnoxious than I am now, if you can believe it. I can. I can. Hey, you haven't been obnoxious all night. I know. That's why I save it for that stream. He, uh, he lets he lets it out all his anger of driving in <laughs> L.A. all in one carriage. Uh, but Goomba, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. We are still playing the Neo 2 Alpha because a fan was kind enough to actually give me the download code. Um, that, that it's It's been a fantastic time. I'm loving the changes. It's a lot crisper. Uh, I might be streaming that as early as tomorrow morning. Uh, if not, though, it will be uh, Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. I also stream on Tuesdays at 7. Uh, after that, we're going to get back into our Pokemon Ultra Sun Yokai Lock. Uh, where we only are able to play with Pokemon that have a decent cultural background, and that's actually been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of a lot of gateway uh, culture shocking, so to speak. So uh, yeah, come by, have fun. Cool, Zito, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Twitch.tv/zito. Uh, tomorrow will be a very very late stream because I'm gonna go see Godzilla, and then uh, probably around like nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Whenever the fuck I get out of the movie theater, and if I'm not drunk, uh, we will. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Hey, listen, listen. Shit happens. It's true. Uh, I got a copy of Void Bastards, and I can't wait to show that off to you guys. Uh, following that will be the Adventures of Eep and uh, and a Mordhau server. So if you want to clash swords? Get on in there. Check out the Discord, and we'll figure out something. And also expect some DMs Guild propaganda to pop up in the near future. So, Connor, aside from uh, Sunday, where you and my sister are sociopaths, what, where can they find you? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, you're not uh, wrong. Boy, <laughs> howdy gee whiz, that was a statement call out. Uh, well, apart from that, uh, apart from Sundays with the Divinity 2 streams, we can uh, find me. I'm an abomination and I'm coming to your house after school. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can Sorry, find me on, <laughs> on Twitter at CNL Snake, and you can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where Tuesdays we have RIW Roll Initiative Wrestling uh, at 3 o'clock Central Standard Time, 3 p.m., that is. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse. We play a lot of, uh, a lot of different games with a bunch of friends. It's really fun. Saturday is The Witcher 3. We're still we're still farting around Skellige. And, well, I already said Sunday, so. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Monty. You can't just glaze over the, I'm an abomination, I'm coming I'm to your house. I'm an abomination. We're, 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 you, know, you can't just say that. That's that's just you can say it and elaborate. Uh, it's, because my, it's because my character is a polymorphist and he turns his body into different things. He is. He turns I, into, like, a metal... Like a metal I, I, spider backed I, elf man who whips yeah. people with tentacles. I am an elf oh. man that can grow bull horns and spider legs out of my back and turn my skin completely metal. So oh, I'm it's... the iron spider. Literally, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue uh, on Twitter, where I, I will tweet random things. And you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, after I get a haircut and I stop looking like the female version of Matt Mercer, um, I will be doing a continuing on with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And chat is naming all of my Pokemon. So, uh, what are some names? We have, so far, our Pikachu's name is Fable, which is a very good Pikachu yep. name. Yep. We have oh. Pocket Sand. Good. Um, <laughs> trying to think there of who else is. we have. Uh, Pocket Sand. We have, oh, uh, Sting King, who's our Nitto King. Um, and we have, uh, my favorite one currently is we have a Magikarp, and I wanted the most kick-ass name for my Magikarp, and his name is Death Maw. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, yeah, so if you guys want to, basically the story is is that I'm trying to be the ultimate criminal and, and I'm not actually fighting people's Pokemon, I'm actually just robbing everybody. 
and I hate Team Rocket because they're a better organized criminal organization than I am, and I want to be the ultimate criminal of Pokemon. You are just being all the bad people in all of your games. You yeah, know Ma, what? I, I, I'm going to talk to Mom. I, I'm worried. I really am. Uh, I, I, knew, <laughs> I knew getting a hairless Sphinx cat was a mistake. This is... This, I no, knew the no. corruption... <laughs> No, I, I, it's, it's, it's chat came up with the lore, but it's, it's a lot of fun. So if you guys want to hang out, that check that out on Sunday, we're doing the mini two original sin. We are the baddies and we're trying our best not to be bad. Um, and I say try on Sunday with, That's with God's MC. day, Nadine. <laughs> and then Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, uh, I'm going to be streaming on my birthday. So I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter about what I'm going to do with that, but that should be fun and exciting. I honestly just want to play a bunch of fun games. Just yeah maybe maybe some um monster hunter again because that went so well last time that was quite funny to watch the highlights uh all righty hi i'm taka sup uh you can find me here and uh, i got mnw multiverse nexus wrestling i got that every tuesday and thursday and i've uh, been joined on, and on commentary with uh my friend bosco and uh, we have a new champion again it's been a wild week and the new champion is the all father Arkov. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Arkov's Boo! another champion. Oh, I know. Wait till you find out Boo! why. You, if only you, the only you knew. If only you knew. Uh, but yes. Also, I'll be doing occasional uh, Total War streams because I'm actually liking Three Kingdoms Total War a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, real fast here, I want to thank uh, Luke a lot with a thousand bits. Monty is kicking the crap out of Team Rocket. We will now see. We, we will now see what a real crime syndicate is. <laughs> One thousand bits from Luke a lot. Thank you so much, Luke a lot with another three thousand bits. A bit late, but congrats on Willow and Doros. Aw, thank you. Yeah. Light I, okay, so I rolled for them for this, <laughs> and. Doros had it where he would have disadvantage, so Willow would have advantage for how well it went. Doros did not roll high, um, and Willow was okay, um, so Doros fell a lot, and oh. that's why, yeah, he rolled a two. Did he fall down the mountain, like, four times? What the fuck? <laughs> he, he, basically, the way I have it in my brain is, like, Willow just kept walking into danger, and, like, kind of like a Looney Tunes gag, he kept just trying to stop her, and then he got, he fell into trouble oh, instead. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, man, like, marriage, man, marriage rolls at 5e are fucking tough. <laughs> yeah. It's so. like it's it's like the freaking. What would There's a the spell wolves? devoted to marriages. There is, yeah, ceremony. Ceremony. Yeah. See, so, you know, what, what was that old cartoon with that like that big pit bull and that tiny little kitten? Oh, yeah, I know it. Yeah, that. The, yeah, that's all that. I can imagine. The, yeah. the one that all the fucking memes of like the dude getting like the cat being crushed at his thumb while he's thinking comes yeah. from. I think the dog's name was like Mark Anthony, but they use that model in so many other cartoons. Yeah, oh, Mark yeah. Anthony. Uh. Vade Loket with 3,000 bits. Hope all's well. Love you guys. Vade Loket, thank you for the 3,000 bits. Luke a lot with another 4,000 bits. While my money would be on Azra Sahar in this fight, I want to commend Zito for his fantastic RP this episode. Hey. 4,000 bits from Luke a lot. Thank you so much. And Zito, you seriously, you handled stuff on that fight really. It was really fucking good. It was really enthralling. Yeah. Mm. Too bad I got fucking floored. <laughs> But no, look, yeah. look, you, you lost, you you know lost the like battle, but you gained a friend. You got hell good super hard, man. It's rough, buddy. Argent Lyle 13 with the four, 500 bits. A Gargoyle Night episode. Night, a Gargoyle Night Guard. Jalapena. I don't know. Why? But I believe that's everybody. And Grimneth with 3,700 bits. Great session, guys. Thank you so much, Grimneth, for the 3,700 bits. And everyone else for subbing, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Guys, guess whose birthday it is? Octo's. <gasps> Octo it's Pimp. A, it's his birthday. Is he streaming right now? He yep. is. He's streaming Final Fantasy VII. All righty. Ooh, oh. the best Final Fantasy. Oh, man. Hey. Ooh. Where it peaked. That's Ooh. not six. You're right. It's not six. Six is the second best. Okay. I'm going to drive gonna, to your house. Okay, I'm just going to We're going to end this call here. I love the friends. Six. It's just not as good as seven. I want to thank everyone for their bits earlier. A big thank you to Probunaga as well as several other people in the community. I want to thank uh, Pyrotherian. Nine and, is best. Yes. All right. Good night, everybody. Go raid that boy. You're wrong. The best is five. Probate says he gets the last word. Ten has the best call.